Oh man, are you ready for this? You can feel the calm before the storm as the round begins. This is gonna be a match to remember. This battle is about to explode. <laughs> for the then four Samurai Shodan on the Switch in Europe, uh, organized by Mr. Matthias Warbrock for Wolf TV. I'll be the host tonight, my name is Turbo Chaco, and I'm joined by one of our regular guests now, Vlaïr. Hello, hello everyone, this is Vlaïr. So I will be here commentating with, uh, with Chaco for this uh, Battle for the Den event. As always, I'm super excited to, to see the Switch player that, we, that I can't play with because no crossplay. play, SNK, please. So, no, let's, let's not start with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, soon, soon, don't worry. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here. We have some regular guests. I think we have some new players, so it will be exciting. Yeah, definitely. So, we have seven players tonight. Um, so, we are still short of the eight players bar, you know, which, you know, makes the tournament look super clean and all, but... Um, seven is one of the highest number we've got since the beginning of this series. I think the first one maybe was seven, and that was the, or maybe the second one, and that was the highest number. So se seven is like a decent number. We have a new player tonight. Uh, as usual, we have a bunch of French people <laughs> in there as well. So uh, that's going to be um, that's going to be a lot of fun. So let me. Oh my! Uh, just going to change. Hopefully the stream doesn't die. Let me try something. All right, all right, all right, that should be better. Um, so let's see. So um, yeah, I'm going to change. So the bracket is available as always. Oops, maybe I'm going to add that in the uh, stream description. It's been a while. Well, not that long actually, but. Uh, all right, let me try that out. Uh, looks like it's working. I'm. Mm -mm. All right, the yeah, app messed up as I thought. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just. And there we go. That's for the that's for the bloopers on YouTube. All uh, right. So I'm, I'm. I am streaming the right window. That's fine. Oh boy, yeah, that's a bit messy, but that's fine. Okay, so we have. Uh, yeah, as we said, we have seven players. Uh, so a lot of family names in there. We have Nirvanael, Ultim Fleo, Azuki, uh, Dev Grind. So Dev Grind is well, it's not. It's been it's a regular as well, but he's not been. Uh, it's like his third tournament. El Vivo as well is back for his third tournament, and we have Chrome Unlimited, uh, one of the new players, and of course Solaris, which I almost forgot. So uh, I guess we are waiting for Matthias to get the players in. Yes, we will see the, the player starting. So I hope uh, I. So who won the last tournament? That it's, was uh, yeah. That Fleo. was it, that was Ultim Fleo. Yeah, that's so uh, he won the if he, he first won uh, the Ron Robin the smaller tournament in December was it? Uh, where we had like no maybe, no no it was actually January yeah I think it was January. Um, so he won this this one. Uh, and you know he lost to the secret boss uh, Nirvana LD. That was that, that was like a bonus match we did after. Uh, but he did he did win the one before though. I mean the one after though, uh, which was like and actually beating Nirvana LD this time. So beating like the long-standing champion we you know has been winning like the first four or five in a row. <laughs> so yeah, definitely definitely coming back for more. Uh, I think I, I might be able to check the history of. So we like uh, with uh, it's like uh, uh, with this many tournaments uh, we start to have like rivalries, favorite underdogs. Yeah, it's yeah, it's cool. definitely, <laughs> definitely you have some surprise, some upsets. Uh, yeah, new players are coming in as well. So that's so we, we might even have been able to uh, go over the seven players. Like we had two other players that couldn't join sadly because they got no Ethernet adapter. So that's unfortunate. But you know we might see them. Uh, Next next month, I guess next month, and that would be with season three as well. So, 
lots of interesting stuff to look forward to. Uh, nope, that's not it. Uh, all right, so we are in the lobby. It's not crashing, surprisingly. I'm not used to that. Uh, and we have a first match. I think the first match is uh, Ultimate Fleo versus Chrome. Uh, Ooh, Chrome Unlimited, the new player. It's a new player. So we have the reigning champion versus a new player. All right. Yeah, that's it, yeah. It is Ultimate Fleo going against Chrome Unlimited. So let's see how it goes. Needs to get used to to come to the tournament. Uh, well, like when it's your first tournament, you don't know if you want to he... join the lobby. Especially oh, yeah, like yeah. I think the, the lobby system on Switch is quite special. Like it doesn't crash, but it has some issues. Uh... Um, yeah, the thing is, so it's basically like a private room, uh, like you would create on PS4, uh, but you need a, a specific password to get in. Which would be a good feature, actually, isn't it? Because we have had this issue on PS4 sometimes, where someone would just, like, randomly join the tournament. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, you appear in your friends list, so even if it's private, you can just, you know, get in there. Uh, but, yeah, I think so. That's, this is something that's, you know, it's not necessarily super easy. You can't just join by seeing the guys in your list. So, uh, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, so. it, it does like advantage and... Yeah, 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 I mean, uh, it's not... Uh... <laughs> but, you know, the fact that it doesn't crash is... Uh... <laughs> it's already it very good. Yeah, yeah, I would take the password any day if, on PS4, if we could have that as well. I think, like, other games have this password system to have really, like, private... Uh... Yeah, I, I think it's kind of like a Switch feature, maybe. Uh... I, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't played a lot of online on Switch. I've, I've been playing a bit of Smash Bros, but that's basically about it that's like my only multiplayer switch game to be honest so well i played tetris 99 but that doesn't really count uh i don't know it's like a it's, it's versus you know <laughs> yeah yeah it's versus fighting i mean well I, tetris 99 is like also a kind of a battle royal kind of game so well, when is the street fighter battle royale oh boy <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, any kind of fighting game that's more than 2 versus 2, I mean, like, kind of uh, traditional fighting games that's more than 2 versus 2. Like, people, you know, are very excited for Guilty Gear Strike, but they don't talk enough about Guilty Gear Isuka, where you could play 2 versus 2, and that was a f fucking nightmare. <laughs> I only heard the name, like... Uh... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a very cursed game, it's, it's super, super cursed. Uh, because you had you had a button to turn around, uh, meaning your characters had some special moves that were like only when his back is facing the open. I don't know. That was like that was like quite the shit show. I, I think there's some um, two versus two tournaments available on you can you can watch on YouTube. But boy, yeah, not 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 Axis greatest success for sure, <laughs> but worth the try, I guess. It's uh, it's history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I see it was worth trying. I mean, who knows, like, maybe uh, when they did these games, they learned some technology that, that they used. Uh, yeah, yeah, at, at the, the time the they were... Game. Yeah, probably. Uh, they, did, uh, <laughs> they did have a cool character. Oh, Kusa-sensei. Thank you for the follow. One of the... Uh... The lord. Well, yeah, one, one of the old god of uh, Samurai Shodan. <laughs> oh, I think we've got uh, Chrome in there. Yep, seems like it, so we can start. Yep, can just join. Let's have some action. Some some show action. Alright, he's in. So if Let's if he does play um if he if he does play Tam Tam, I mean if they play Tam Tam, uh I'm not sure how Ultimate Player is used to that matchup. And I'm not sure really yeah. since you, you kind of play both characters, uh, how would you say this matchup goes? So Fleo is a Charlotte, right? Yeah, yeah Team Fleo is a Charlotte main. I don't think he played any other characters. We talked about this a bit, but... Little pink blue dude. How you doing, man? Why couldn't you join, by the way? Or the other, other regular? My friend. Uh, pink blue dude, I think... Yeah, he, he said he couldn't join too. So the Charlotte... Oh, Tam -tam yeah. Tam-Tam uh... Charlotte, yeah. 
So at first, I, I have to say I'm very happy to see a Tamtam in this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Are we good? So? When, when I'm not playing, there is no Tamtam in like PS4 tournaments, so I never commentate some Tamtam. So <laughs> I'm very yeah. happy. Uh, but the, honestly, like at first, you you can think like Tamtam has longer range. So and like in the keep away game. I believe Tam Tam has kind of the advantage, but like the Charlotte has very good button. She has a DP. Mm. Uh, her short jump is also a problem for Tam Tam. Yeah. So I, I mean, in my in my in my head, like Charlotte was a top tier character. I don't know if she has been nerfed that much. Um, I think she's still like really solid. So probably like her speed, like yeah, you know, is, is a problem for Tam Tam. Like uh, yeah, of course, as a zoner, you have issues with, uh, with yeah, the yeah, character. Yeah. Oh, no confirm here. On the medium. And like, of course, her button doesn't have range, but she has like the bayonet and, uh, and yeah, the yeah, projectiles. Yeah. So. so I'm not sure how, how the interactions like between bayonet and the um, tam tam projectile would work. Like, w would there be a trade of some sort, or, or didn't go for the? It, it depends uh, on the range. It depends on how far you are. Oof, this yeah. could have been much bigger punish. Yeah, 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 on the on the way down. But um, Feel was really committed on the uh, 5k. But yeah, like uh, also, uh, I don't know how it, because there isn't any much Charlotte on also in, uh, in PS4. Yeah, that, that, that's there, true. Yeah, uh, there was like uh, there was like uh, Supa is, is playing a bit Charlotte. Yeah, yeah Supa is playing, playing a bit much. Charlotte. But like you know, uh, the, the the run when she runs to you and do like jump C, uh, you can probably anti air with uh, with uh, two. With two M with Tam Tam. Oh right, right, yeah. The, she's like his entire button, but I'm not sure like if it works very well because if she's a bit cross up, it will it will not touch. It's a bit slow on startup, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see. Yeah, there's there's not a lot of good grounded normals that entire in some show to be honest. Uh, except for maybe like Kazuki two uh, C. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. But also, like she, since he doesn't have a GP, he's yeah. Up, so. Oof. Right, so uh, so Chrome lost the first round, but uh, it doesn't look too bad right now. Yeah, so as you can see, as you can see here, you have to be very careful of uh, of not doing bayonet when you are in Tam Tam uh, to when you're in Tam Tam uh, to to five uh, M range because you are yeah. just gonna get punished. But here you see he had the very good idea of not pushing a button. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, that, like, that, that, that's what I was thinking. Uh, if you press a button, you're just going to hit the uh, WFT. So very, very wise decision here because often you, you like you jump and you press a button without thinking, and here you didn't do it. So very, very nice, very good uh, reaction. Oh, no reaction maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sometimes not doing anything is is, is a valid move. It, it paid off, right? It killed Ulti Player this time. Yeah, I think I think in the last round, um, Ultim will try maybe to jump a, a bit too more too much, and you know because Charlotte has a very low jump kind of, and Tam has a very high one. Uh, Tam can easily like just jump here no matter what she does. She doesn't have so, that. Yeah. So, uh, so I said that that it's hard to anti air like on the ground, but as long as you back jump, it's uh, it's much much easier. Yeah. But you also have to be careful because if you do the, the jump too late, and you don't touch her, uh, she's gonna be able to punish your jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, we know, we all know it's a, so it's a very Ooh. small, a very. Uh -oh. very <laughs> Whoa. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I don't disagree yeah, with this. Burst, why not? Okay, you're trying to get it off now. What do you do now? Oof, that's. Okay, Fleo, Fleo, feeling the pressure. <sighs> Ooh, that's a risky. Oh, okay. Risky, ballsy jump. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, the move. Yeah, that's the move. And now do you do the? Okay, you don't go for the cheap move. He could have done the, the optimal one uh, with uh, two with uh, five M into WFT, but I think he's not playing the game for a very long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If not used, to that, so... just keep it simple. That was like already a good decision by itself, and yep. gets him the first win. First win, jump back, jump back button. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, in, to play time. in this situation, I believe like uh, Charlotte could probably easily do like uh, CDP, right? I mean, I'm saying easily, like it's not, it's not that obvious, but uh, it makes sense on paper. Like Ta Tam is relatively slow in the air. Yeah, like especially uh, in the in the corner, if you jump back in the yeah, corner, yeah. it's like free DP for Charlotte, but 
this oh that was yeah that was brutal very, uh, very long range i wonder if because i wonder if he hold the button or if he just did it too late but like, i think like you like can you be hit when she's holding the, the yeah yeah, yeah. It, i don't i don't think it have, i don't think it has a, a hitbox when it's when it's charging so oh okay you, you can so be hit so yeah yeah it. maybe try to hold it and because yeah i was totally gonna see him uh, clipped uh, out of it. But yeah, so as I was saying, like when you're in the corner, like she, she can just DP you. But the fact is, if she's jumping at you and you do a jump back uh, button like uh, M or, or, or C, like she's gonna get clipped by your button, so she can't like really punish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, it's not that easy to approach. Right? Depends also on the timing you do the jumping buttons. But I, I think she can also trade. Like if you if you That's jump, uh, like even if you touch her and so she reset on the ground, she maybe she, the, the jump is so low, it's so slow that. The, Maybe you can. Uh, oh, and the SSM. All oh, right. Nice. And, yeah, and no burst from Chrome, which I respect. Ah. Yeah, totally. I mean, yeah, no, it's first. It's first I mean, round. yeah, yeah, it, it could, it could be winning the round, like, but it's not guaranteed, and you're trading a very important resource for. Yeah, uh, Ultim can't do SSM anymore, but is that going to be that much of a deal? Like, you won the round. Uh, Chrome was already close to death. So also, it's very hard for Tam Tam to do SSM Ooh. against Charlotte. Oh, nice confirm here. I think it's a confirm. Oh, know. right, because he, he can't go over the fireball, right? Unless he's like at yeah. the perfect timing or something I mean, like that. It's probably possible. <laughs> yeah, I think if like but, the fireball uh, is really in the mid screen, you can do it. But in most situations, you just like, it just interrupts you or you impale yourself on it, so. Yeah, so, can't, but Ooh, I think you, 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 you can do it against the bayonet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oof, but, that's a lot uh, of damage. Oh, and the full combo. Yeah, he got the full combo, so he has to burst now. Yeah, now he has to burst. Especially like like she can chip you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if he like there is a the Raceline tank. Oh, that's, or yeah, yeah. Like, no, that's uh, the yeah, that's dead. It's Raceline. Uh, when you can uh, you you can use actually you can use with Charlotte the the light mash. You know she oh. has a she has yeah, a mash yeah. button. Lance de Lyon. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you can uh, you can mash it, but uh, it like it's not that unsafe. Yeah, yeah. Can, uh, yeah. So you get you, well. Of course, you won't do that against an Nako with WFT or yeah, against, yeah, Remo, or, or, against Remo, like they can just yeah, any, uh, anyone with a fast WFT can be uh, yeah. I mean, a fast or, or even anyone with, with a light punish, a, a strong light punish, like yeah. you know, light into DP or light into some, like Remo, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even like I would say one through and stuff like that. Yes. So, but uh, but against like character like Tam Tam, it's uh, it can be worth it. And especially when she is in cheap range. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I can see what you mean. But yeah. So we we saw the adaptation of Flare using more deflect because that's what you need to. Yeah, do to go against Tam Tam. Yeah, that's like the five M character one off with Jube. <laughs> yeah, like when but... you are when you are in uh, in five M range, you you deflect. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and basically. Sometimes it works, and you have free big punish. So yeah, I mean, it's kind of like part of the mind game, right? Yeah. If the guy is just pressing buttons over and over again, you have to make him think about that. And of course, if he thinks about that, he's going to wait for the deflect to actually punish. Yeah, or just uh, to see, and he will clip you. Yeah, yeah, true. So that's one of the possibilities. Ooh. And yes, uh, the fireball is a bit too too slow oh, to punish. Oh. <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, he went for the uh, because he got hit. Uh, in the previous match when he did the full screen, Ultimate Flute just dashed in, but this by doing the close one. Yeah, you, you have to vary. Uh... Yeah, yeah, Fl uh, Fleo was already committed to just dashing forward, so he just... Oh, we, we've got the Tam uh, Tam special, the timer going down. <laughs> uh, I think Chrome has a life lead, doesn't he? Does he need to go that hard? Yeah, he, he definitely has a life lead. No, no, he doesn't yeah, anymore. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> shouldn't, yeah, he should have just backdash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think he probably misjudged. So, okay, so, Ooh, okay. match points what? for Fleo. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, but not the optimal punish, though. Yeah, I, maybe, you, you know, so, sometimes it happens that you think you want to do SSM and your fingers start moving in that direction, but then you remember, oh, that was, yeah. That, oh, that was, yeah, I mean, oh, okay, it's what? a hard read, let's say. Uh, oh, yeah, no. I think, okay, so I think that's Chrome panicking a little bit there, because yeah, the punish was not going to be that bad. It's a pressure. And yeah, now you're uh, out of resources. He still has SSM, I guess, but... Yeah, uh, that's true. So yeah, so you can SSM the bayonet. Yeah. 
But yeah, it's also very hard to do since it's a big hitbox on the wall screen. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, you definitely will go over the bayonet, right? It's just like you can get clipped at the start, but. Uh... Yeah, at the start, at the end, like, it, it's more a read than a radio reaction. Yeah, yeah. And you can probably do it on reaction if you have Kusa reflex, but yeah. Yeah, so, right. uh, it's hard <laughs> to do it. I mean, some players are other levels, but yeah. So let's see how it goes, but yeah, it's going to be hard. I mean. Okay, just. Uh, the... Oh, LTPO nice. getting a bit. He uh, doesn't need to do that because he wasn't going to but... die. Well, you, you can understand it. Oh, he, he, he made the right decision of not this end because I, I don't think it would have hurt. And that's the end. Oh, right. yeah, that's the end of it, yeah. That's the end. Yeah, too bad. Chrome, Chrome played quite solidly for a player we've never seen before, but uh, just made a few mistakes there. Uh, I think the activation was definitely, yeah, as Prepsky is saying, there was a panic activation. Like, the, the punish didn't look to be huge. I think he even blocked the hit, actually. So yep. it's not like anything was going to happen, really. But well, a very impressive, uh, impressive performance. Like he took the first match over the reigning champ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so... definitely. Uh, so he's not. He's probably going to do a killing in the loser side of the bracket. So very, very solid tam tam we, we saw here. It's very cool to see some very solid tam tam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so very nice match. So Fleo saying saying that he's here. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely here to, to win again. To win again. Um. And yeah, so I guess we might have... So there was probably another match in Winners being played at the same time. Uh, I would assume. I'm not sure which... Yeah, I'm not sure about the... Um, the schedule for matches now. So what's the next? Uh, good question. So we have uh, El Vivo and Azuki on one side. And we have Dev Grind and Solarius on the other. So I'm not sure if we're going to see... Now we have... I mean that's a good thing. Like we have uh, quite a lot of players, so but we, that means we can't just uh, stream any every winner matches. Yep. So, yeah, Ultimate Flow is just hanging out in the lobby. <laughs> Probably needs to. Go okay, okay, okay. Anyway, got out. Ah. Okay, so next we have Dav Grind versus Solarius. All right, all right. To the regular, so shoot so, uh, out to the to the French Discord. Like oh, oh, for for now, like all on the four guys we have, we have, so uh -huh. the two we have, we just seen as the two who are coming, they are all on the French uh, Discord, yeah, yeah. We have, which has a very active Switch community. They they are, they are already French. Right? It's all it's been a French nation. Uh, all right, so El Vivo and Azuki play their match in the meantime, and Azuki won. Oh, okay. Moving on to uh, round two, where uh, they will be fighting against Nirvana. Isle. So, so Nirvanael, who was seeded uh, higher. Yeah, we are seeded higher, yeah. I mean, Ultim Flow, I think, uh, judging by the... Because Chrome was probably seeded lower, you know, as a new... Not because he's bad or anything, but because he's the new player, and that's generally how it works. Okay. If you're a new player, you always get seeded in the last... And then, you know, you you, you prove that you are better than by upsetting the champion and <laughs> move on, but... I mean, he, he, when he won the first match, he was like, yes, yeah! Yeah, yeah, I mean, that, 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 was, that was an interesting development, for sure. I mean, and even, like, in the in the second match, uh, or in the third one, it was very close, like, the timeout. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Hope we don't have a lobby issue. There is no uh, lobby issue on Twitch, I was told. Yeah, I mean, it's not, I don't think it's about the... Oh, yeah, actually, uh... Okay, maybe it's some, like, uh, settings. Uh, Dave Grind says he's uh, not finding the room, which is reminiscent of some stuff we had on PS4. But... No, 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 uh, no problem. It, uh, it's a setting issue. Don't worry. Don't worry. Sure. It's gonna work. There will be no problem. <laughs> lobbies. Lobbies. The lobby there. What, what, what a great things. Hardest oh, matchup. <laughs> Definitely. All right. And for those of you in the chat who don't know about this, uh, I mean, later on in Midnight for Europe, uh, there will be another Battle for the Den on Samurai Shodan, but this time for North America. So it will be hosted on uh, our friend Savebots stream. Yep, Savebots will. Uh, uh, and also, if you know NA people that play on Switch, they can still register, so yep. be sure to tell them. Definitely. 
we should tell them there isn't much participant, I think. So yeah. Yeah, right now they are the sitting community. at a pretty, pretty low number. Uh, there were there were there were quite a bunch of them. I mean, like, around the same numbers, like six or seven uh, for the first one. Okay, nice. I hope they will uh, be able to find as much people for for the second one. Yeah, there's Today always you know I... last minute uh, participants coming in. I don't think there is that much switch event on, uh, on NA. I mean, they all do the all do, there is. I mean, the Parsec event. Yeah, yeah they, all, <laughs> they all play on Parsec, but yeah, yeah, I think uh, there's, uh, there's no others um, kind of kind of events like that here yeah, for some reason, for the Switch. But I for some reason, on the Switch. There is a regular, uh, there, is a, there is or there was, I don't know if he's, if he's, if he continues, uh, Trust is all doing the... True, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he was doing more it's like a, kind of a sessions stuff, though, yeah. where just people, you know, free play, which, which is also perfectly it's fine. Cool to have it on stream. So, are we having lobby issue? Uh, yeah, Dev Grind seems to say that he's. I mean, he's not. He's not been answering, but. I mean, he was here the last tournament, so you know how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's. I don't think he's ever really been uh, having issues so far. So. Uh, we lost Dev Grind. Oh. He's gonna come, he's gonna come. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not lost, he's just. Uh, <laughs> he's definitely around. Like, is he still online on Discord? Oops, did I mess up? But no, I think we're fine. No, no, the, the stream is fine. I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah, alright, yeah, sure. Okay, okay. All right, thankfully it is Saturday night. We are still in lockdown. <laughs> we don't have any place to go to. Just enjoy the samurai shot on lovely music. <laughs> Which is good. It, it, yeah, it's actually good, yeah. I mean, yeah, I remember uh, that was Kuza talking about you know, the uh, music in training mode uh, in Guilty Gear Strive. The default music, which is the chip stem, fight like a tiger and all that. I love it. I, I, I mean, I, I like it, but if you stay in training mode for a bit, it's it's I, seriously. I, mean, I, I was playing Nagoriyuki. Yeah. Uh, so in training mode, like waiting for match. So I had his training mode all the, his uh, his stem all the time, and also during the match, it was often uh, the stem. And I, I I'm still uh, I'm still loving it. <laughs> Well, I don't know how you do it, to be honest, I was really sick of it at the end. I have peculiar taste in music. <laughs> uh, Alright, this might be an issue with the search setting. Axel, yeah, that, that's a good one, actually, while we wait. Uh, uh, we know we are going to have a guest character from yeah, Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear. Now, I think there are like a lot of different... Oh, but while we wait, before we talk about this, uh, doing the usual ads, we have the next ARMS tournament, the pack to pack So team battle tournament from ARMS that will be hosted on the 20th of March on Wolf TV. So be sure be sure to come look at this game, which has rollback. Uh, yeah, which is one of the... Surprisingly, uh, if you've played Smash, this is a Nintendo game with good netcode. <laughs> So that's worth checking out. I guess it, it. I would say it's like the signature game of uh, Matthias, right? Because yeah, he's been really streaming a lot of it. He's uh, been uh, sponsoring the tournament for last last week or the week before. Yep, the Quarantine Fighter tournament. Yeah, the Quarantine Fighter. Yeah, arms as rollback. Uh, I heard the netcode's really good. Like you can play, uh, you can play versus West Coast. You can play. I mean, yeah, you can do some really long distance matches with it. I think last time the grand final was uh, Brazil versus UK. So, yeah, that's... Uh... Oh, yeah, it's crazy. But, it, uh, yeah, so, so here it's not a tournament, it's a team battle between two... Between yeah, it, is a, two... it is a team battle, so it's not like an open tournament, but uh, you, will be, uh, you will be having like a lot of serious players in there. So if you want to see what like uh, proper arms look like... Yeah, because I, I think they got, they got like very, very good player, like some who are like known in the community. Yeah, yeah, definitely so. 
so yeah so be sure to, to check it like if you want to discover the game I, I think they are explaining it quite well when uh, during the stream because I, I watched it I watched it last time they, they did one so be sure to to, to turn in on, on uh, wolf t on the th yeah. this will be on uh, Matthias on the wolf TV channel yeah on, on his uh, proper channel which is wolf TV but you know you can easily find it on Twitter I should probably make like a, a nightbot come in with some like ads and stuff like that. Yep. <laughs> now that I'm a, now that I'm a pro streamer. So m money will rain. Oh, okay. I think. Uh... Okay, I think yeah, I think Death Grind okay. is going. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think. So Death Grind is not out of the tournament, but I think uh, we can't wait for that long. You know, it's already quite late. Even though I was joking about it before. And there will be the NA tournament after. So yeah, yeah, and, and at midnight. So another... that's what we are talking about. Another match. So it will be Azuki versus Nyabanael. So two other French players. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's a sentence we can say a lot, because uh, the only non-French is El Vivo. Yes, for this tournament, yes. For this tournament, yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, like the, the two players you were talking about before that couldn't register this time, I think both of them are. Well, three. I mean, there are even three of them. Yeah, I, I mean, we know that at least three people don't register, so we could have a ten people tournament. Yeah, that would be that would be pretty sick. I mean, even eight. I, I'm really looking forward, and I guess we're getting really close to it to break the the eight players bar for this tournament. Which hopefully uh, season three uh, brings some more people. Two, and there's also that too. Yeah, maybe some people you know we just try to go back into the game, play the waifu, whether it's a uh, cham cham, no, whether it's no, 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 hibiki. Don't say things like this on stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I I don't judge Strika. <laughs> I do, but uh, let's say I don't. Hibiki. Oh, hibiki, or maybe whoever the. Because yeah, for the guilty character, you know, it might be uh, <laughs> it might be Bacon. She she's a samurai. Uh, we've got Axel Lowe, which is the time traveler. We've got Sol and Kai, which are the poster boys. And yeah, you know, some people may even mention Nagori Yuki because he, he feels uh, Samsho ish as yeah. a character. Very and slow you know, move. They could change the mask as a, as a time traditional mask, mask <laughs> instead of, uh, of a technological mask, and it would be fine. Yeah, yeah. So I guess, yeah, there's nothing there. And you know, maybe it will be something like very out there, like Faust or another character like that. Probably not my boy Potemkin, but um, unless they give him like a weapon. <laughs> Potemkin in some shit, my God. <laughs> I mean, we we don't really have a grappler, do we? Why it's... not Batman? <laughs> Batman, <laughs> yeah, that would fit perfectly. ABA, good character as well. Bridget, he does have a weapon. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like uh, people, like most of the people say it's gonna be Biken because, like, samurai ish. Yeah, samurai. Waifu, it, it kind of makes waifu, sense. It, yeah, definitely waifu. 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 <laughs> Man, that would be like, that would be a very uh, heavy waifu. <laughs> very big waifu, uh, waifu flavored season pack. Yeah, very big, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we have uh, Azuki and Nivanael. And Nivanael. So Nivanael has been playing a lot of Kyoshiro in the past tournaments. Yes, it's always good to see some Frogman. Baikon, I mean, is it obvious? The thing is about Baikon, she's not in Strive. I mean, she's definitely going to be DLC at some point, but she's not in Strive yep. yet. <laughs> and as, as people say, the Baikon fans, they don't play Guilty Gear anyway, so... <laughs> might as so well maybe they're going to play Sancho? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, may as well put her in another game. But, oh, okay, oh, so this is more of a um, traditional matchup. Uh, Azuki did play Nakuru in the first tournament and didn't play a lot after that. And uh, yeah, with Dali, so also I think they might have played Dali maybe in the first or second tournament. He's probably keeping with Frog, you know, you know when, when his back is against the wall, when he's like yeah. 1 and 0. The Frog Factor. Yeah, right. counting on the Frog on the Frog Comeback Factor. <laughs> you just spam the Frog until it works. But well, it's good to see Darley sometimes too. Like this character yeah. is so cool. Yeah, definitely. They could put Darley in the Guilty Gear. 
I will be happy with that. <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't feel too off, right? Ooh, Darling, okay. we find her dash, oh my god. <laughs> oh my. I don't want to imagine. Yeah, that. yeah, that, that, that jump scene with an air dash, I'm not sure I would really like that in Sancho, <laughs> but that's fine. Alright, so. Uh, very jump heavy and uh, special heavy uh, Oof, match. What a, that was a nice whiff punish on the. Punish? Yeah. Okay. Don't yeah. try to grab me. Well, it's not a grab, but catch plug, me, let's say. Plug that high. Ooh. Alright, nice combo there. Oh, good. Oh. Are we going to see a Superman punch? That's why. <laughs> no cross up. Yeah, the full like screen Anumutsube, the classic. Nakoka. Uh, Nako car. <laughs> All right. Yeah, as we keep playing the lame game, uh, which I think is fine, right? You don't have any reasons to get close to. Like Even though she's kind of a um, rushed on character, she can also play kind of the ranging. Oof! <laughs> what it's that, that was. Yes, very good spot dodge. I mean, like when, when you have when you have one of the best projectiles in the game, you can play the yeah, yeah. lame game. Oh, and very nice uh, hanging on the bird. Oh, very good. Like he really, he's really like uh, versatile. Like he, he was like overhead jumping. Oh, Ooh. okay, jump yeah, dodge. That... Why not? <laughs> yeah, that was a weird. Okay, yeah, that's. Oh no, the uh, okay, the hitbox actually goes quite high. Yep. I, I I don't I think like so Nako has a jumping back animation that you can touch. All oh, right during the uh, yeah, yeah because it, it, it's super fast but it's not like one frame it's like seven frame for the WC startup I believe that's not going to work yet. Oh I almost got a f nice punish there from the jump C. Oof. Whoa 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 that that's a lot of stuff. Okay oh nice catching him. And the damage on the WFT. Uh, sorry, okay, it goes with the 66A. Six, six oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, that, that, that that's actually punishable. Yep. Oh, was that combo? No. Um I didn't sorry, I didn't I was watching the chat. Uh, <laughs> so yes, so Dali Pick I mean on the paper, yes, uh, the the matchup is definitely for Nako. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, like we just, think so as like, well. I play a bit uh, Kyoshiro and I prefer to take Kyoshiro against Nako. <laughs> But uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Tap Tap is not exactly like a best. Uh, if you play Dali, you would probably want that against uh, Nakaruru. Yes. Oof. Big 5C here. Oh. Ooh. Okay, Nakoka everywhere. Oh, Sinister, thanks for the follow. Pleasure having our friend from Finish. the other side of the sea there. Hi, Sinister. So, yeah, Ooh. Chris, c'est le meilleur jeu, t'inquiète. <laughs> he knows, he knows. I, I've, been, I've been saying that a lot when we are together. Oh, okay, so we got the burst, uh, yeah. Oof, nice, <laughs> nice vibes, okay. Ethan versus Ethan now. Oh. Yeah, might be, okay, uh, yeah, that was a thing. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna F5. Maybe. Right, yeah, just take a breather between matches. So, 1-0, right, for... Yeah, 1-0 for Azuki, so, uh... Really, our, our champions are being bullied a bit tonight. <laughs> so can Nivenael uh, bring it back? Is he going to stick to Dali, is the question. This is where it's fun. <laughs> okay, well, he's definitely... Thinking he's, any kids are Dali. Yeah, yeah. He's either going to win with Dali or lose with Dali. No, <laughs> no counter pick. Oof. The big sword. <laughs> nice 5C okay. from... Uh, yeah. Just start with the 5C. Bit of keep away game. Yeah, it's not easy, right? Because I mean, the idea is it's pretty hard to punish um, Dali for jumping at you. Yeah, and like a uh, jump is also kind of short, so. Yeah, yeah, and you. I mean, you obviously have this huge hitbox box of jump C that's right in front of you. So, I'm not sure what Nako can really do except for maybe some air to airs or maybe trying to hit with Maha Maha. Yeah, I think like like sending Mamaha, but like in preventive way. It's yeah, yeah. And then you have to try to anti air, like maybe Ooh. maybe running. Like yeah, you can do a five uh, six. Ooh six, yeah, I heard the move, and that's oh, right the into armor the. And you're dead. Yeah, this right into dead. the armor. And you you have to not forget that. Yeah, yeah, it's that's armor. it's armor. So it's it's not like invincible or anything, but if you do, oof, nice swift finish on the throw there. Yeah, I think uh, Azuki probably wanted to go for WFT, but and, and I know so like this is just two five C. Uh, yeah, two five C. That's more than half. Oh, oh okay. Okay. 
Don't jump over Oh, uh, yeah. He probably missed just distance there. Could have gotten a much bigger punish. I mean... You, you can definitely punish Nako WFT. Like, it's scary. You think you can't, but Oof. you can. Oh, that, that was interesting, because he spot dodged. But I think that was actually in the blind spot of uh, search and destroy. Oh, man. Azuki is just, like, kind of throwing his life away here with grab attempt. Oh, that's true. He could have SSM. That's true that the Darley SSM goes quite... Uh, quite uh... Yeah, it, it goes quite far. Oh, it's it... a panic. Oh, no, it's not the panic, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's kind of justified. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure... Going with that. Yeah, going straight to the. Uh, he could have gotten more damage out of his uh, rage explosion. And and Dali like, still hit like a truck, even without. If at an arm, so. <laughs> I mean, to be, to be fair, not that much, but uh, yeah, it, it was not in. It was going to be hard to come back from this. So, King Fossil, a good friend also from the International Discord, said to us that he could have SSM the WFT as a punish, so yeah. Oh, does it go? It goes that far, all right. But yeah, like you can dash and SSM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at least you can dash before. Like, both my characters, they do a running SSM, so I never really bothered with that, but... <laughs> Joda. Yeah, like, WFT... Even, even for Nako, it's punishable. <laughs> Like, I mean, th it's thank uh, thankfully it's falling shell, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's rare for you not to be hit by the... Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was a very weird decision there. Probably like some kind of, maybe an error from Azuki, because he just did like a small dash in... Like, he could have caught uh, Nirvana pressing a button, but I don't think Nirvana was... But like, at the same time, it's so fast that... <laughs> Why not throwing the neutral and hoping to... <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, and oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, ah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, like I said, I think it's fine to take an SSM once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I think he, he would have died. Oh, oh. He, he, yeah, he went too low on the bird. <laughs> nice. So at least that's not a... I mean, so far, it doesn't look like it's a wasted like, rotten uh, rage explosion. All right. Oof. Okay. Get the first round, but has to be pretty careful now. At least he got uh, the maximum of 40 of his bursts. So yeah, yeah, I mean, if he lost there, that would be, like, pretty... Pretty grim. Yahoo! Oh, nice recoil cancel here. Yeah, you have to have to use them once in a while. And the throw... What? Oh, and I once mean, again? He's, yeah, he's missing all his throw. I mean, she can, right? She can. I mean, if he's doing it, I guess, like, he's a Dali player or so. Yeah, um, yeah, you can definitely do 5C after a... Back throw? Uh, I would suppose after a front throw as well. Oh, but Azuki is Maybe just like... The cross -up. Yeah, and didn't even... Yeah, he didn't really do anything <laughs> during that second round. Even though, you know, uh, Neo Vanille didn't have rage anymore. Oh, pas de problème, Chris. Avec joie. Puisque j'ai fait top 8 en major une fois. Eh. <laughs> J'étais top 3 à l'Evo de l'année dernière. Peut-être pas à l'Evo, mais... Ah, de l'année dernière. <laughs> Top 2 à Mulhouse. <laughs> Top 2 à Mulhouse. Ah ouais, c'est bon, hein, ta gueule. <laughs> uh, T'étais même pas top 3 à Nantes. <laughs> bon, bon, allez, arrête, arrêtez de batailler les chiffons. Uh, congratulations <laughs> to uh, Nirvana. We took, uh, we took this one. And uh, moving on into... Uh, well, that's already winner finals, isn't it? Yeah, that's winner finals. Maybe we'll have another match, I don't know. Oh, sorry, semi-finals, actually. Semi-finals. Semi-finals. Oh. No, no, that's actually, well, yeah, that's actually winner finals, uh, semi-finals. Um, so, yeah, I think we're waiting on Death Grind and Solarius. It's Ultim, no, Ultim Fleo. Yeah, no, Solarius sorry, but... Solarius won. Solarius won. Oh, okay. Uh, Death Grind. No, 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 I think actually Matthias let them play. So, yeah, Death Grind actually won against... Um, Solarius, and so yeah. we are going to have... If Ultim works, Fleo... Yeah, yeah, versus the, 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 uh, yeah, I think that was just like a search settings kind of thing. It should work now. But yeah, uh, in Nantes you won, right? Stop yeah, yeah I, I won, yeah, especially by beating uh, Instinct. So that was like a, a, both a great victory for me and a personal victory, because Instinct always used to wipe the floor with me, so... Alright, so yeah, okay, so this is going to be Death Grind versus, uh... Ultim Flare. Okay, we've, we've got one, we've, this is Flare, right? Yeah, that's that's Ultim Flare. And I think so, yeah, they are going to have some matches in Loser going on. Yes. Yeah, so there's going to be Chrome versus Solarius. Oh, nice. And the loser of this match will go against El Vivo. 
Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to see a lot of actions from Loser Bracket, because we still have the winner finals to go through. We probably have semi-finals, I guess. Yep, maybe maybe we see semi-final and oh, loser yeah. final, like very it's very very sure. What's up my donos? Captain Kebab is here. Alright. <laughs> so we are waiting for their grind. Hopefully you can find it. Yeah, yeah. I think it was just like it kind of messed up with the search settings. Um, okay, there he is. There he is. Let's go. So Solaris, um, I do remember him playing quite a lot of Warden in the last tournaments. And Dev Grind has been like a Jubei uh, main as far as I know. Hey, don't worry, Dave. It's fine. It's just, you know, we, we've seen much worse happen. <laughs> <laughs> Like you oh! Oh no, no, sorry, that's not so loud. Yes, of course, that's uh, that's Ultim Fleo, yeah, what, what I was talking about. Ultim Fleo. So, uh, I, I, uh, I worked very hard not to be biased. Yeah? But for, you think... For the tap -tap. <laughs> so here you have not to be biased for the Dubai player. Yeah, I I, mean, I, I think this matchup is... Uh, yo, Maidono, thanks for the follow. Merci, Maido. Uh, Brebski, it's the same. It's uh, the same as the first uh, Charlotte. Yeah, 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 sorry, we missed, yeah, I thought that was Solaris, but Solaris was the match before that we couldn't get on stream. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. not going to be biased, because, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you why, because Dev Grind does way too many WFT with you. <laughs> 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 uh, but, but I think, yeah, that, I think that's an interesting matchup, actually. Uh, yeah. I don't, I think it's it's quite even, really. Yeah, because, like, they have the kind of the same, like, not the same tool, but... Uh... For a moment, they play the same range. Of course, Charlotte is better as like rushing, uh, rushing in. Yeah, I mean, like Jubei has longer range, definitely. Um, but Charlotte's speed uh, kind of makes up for it. And like the, the air to air game is also really interesting. Yes, like of course Jubei has his jump, jump M. Yeah, he has jump M, which is a uh, pretty good. Uh, but it's kind of hard to react to Charlotte jump in with that, because you know obviously she jumps very low. No, no, no confirm here. Trade, like both got counter. <laughs> yeah, both. <laughs> Let's play pressing buttons. I have to be careful of the WFT. Yeah, see, that's what I talked while well, I was talking about when I said the air to air is quite punish interesting. Cause... Yeah, the, the, the light, the light DP is hard to punish. Yeah, I mean, you could probably do just like five M, but you have to be really ready for it. What is this? Oh, it didn't. Oh, that's big. Okay. Oh, big whiff here. Oh, not the optimal punish? Yeah, uh, I mean, the optimal punish is SSM, but I can't understand not going for this. No, but I mean, he could have done like... Uh, Ooh, he could, oh, man, he could have done like a running attack and... Oh, that was... Oh, why? Oh, oh yeah. He, oh, he I think he tried to, to WFT. No, uh, oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think he oh, tried no. to WFT to try to cheap... Um... Or oh, even the DP could have cheap, no? I mean, oh, cool. yeah, yeah, he, uh, he was in rage, right? So he has multi-hit and all that, so he could have cheap, definitely. Uh, this distance, we know there's not much you can do, I think. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, this could have clipped a jump, you know? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Ooh, but it I, looks... I'm a man of hard reads. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, don't play Jubei if you think that's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, getting the pressure in. Yeah, the thing is, like, Charlotte does have very, very fast buttons, so even though Juve has the range advantage, up close you're probably going to get, like, uh... Ooh, nice. Combo. Can you parry the, the gem -C? Yeah, you can do air counter against the gem -C. Okay. Uh, but the thing is, um, if it crosses you up, though, it will auto-correct into the C projectile, so that's, that's bad news. Yeah, that's good. So she's not, like, yeah, C counter is just, like, uh... It's definitely a fun button, but it's not without its risk, especially with the recovery being that long. But like, like when you see like the Charlotte is like rushing at you. Yeah, like yeah, that, that's a good way to tell the guy to to just calm down, you know. Yeah. And also, well, that's a, yeah, that's the win for Team Flare, quite solid there. Not even I mean, letting the time to Dev Grind to burst. Dev Grind tried to adapt, like you know, doing more jump back. I think it's a very good idea. Like. Yeah, yeah, but the, the timing is kind of uh, kind of weird, but it can be done like. It, 
to even to have less pressure because like yeah ulti flare really tries to be in his face yeah yeah uh, I, I, as he should i think like you don't really have any reasons to try to play the full screen game against jubei as a charlotte i don't think it's a good idea to try to to dodge the charlotte projectile because like they are, they yeah, yeah so they're quite beefy so um just just block them you know it's it's free uh rage if you perfect block them very good start here for flow like he, he just shut up, shut shut down all the option like yeah yeah i know they've reached the corner him with her to air very okay. aggressive like yeah as you said that's how you have to play against jubei which has better range than you yeah yeah yeah. i mean shout can play kind of flame but that's not oh he can actually he could have actually interrupted that Yep. Oh, I oh, I love that. <laughs> I love. <laughs> that, that's 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 just the proof I'm not done playing the character. I mean, they could, he probably couldn't. Like maybe six six B though. But I understand him not wanting to risk this. All right, and just you know. I think he also tried to clip. You know, like a jump out of the corner. Yeah, but the, the the thing is like that would I, I don't think this would have worked. Like if um, Ultim did a jumping attack, this might have actually. I mean, right after the uh, end of the because um, it's minus ten on block, I think the Jubei WFT, which means it generally can't be punished because of the pushback. But if you actually jump right during these minus ten frames, wow, that was a good attempt at. Uh, Oof. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a crazy with punish. <laughs> that would have been a crazy with punish and pretty good punish there for them, grind. Oh, yeah, no key for you. <laughs> No meaty projectile. Ooh, okay. Row 5C. I mean, in general, meaty projectile aren't a good idea in this game. Yeah, yeah, it's quite hard to do that effectively. Ooh, this is pretty close, like... But yeah. funny how, like, Ultimate Fleo, like, sometimes it go very far, you see? And then he, like, he's really doing, like, hit and run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Uh I talked a bit about, uh, like I say, was saying in the last tournament, um, I talked quite a lot with Ultimate Flayo after the tournament and stuff like that. Oh man, you can just uh, Rage Explode that <laughs> now. Yeah, yes. I mean, okay, yeah, yeah. get all the chippy ones and... Oh, yeah, it, to be honest, this is... Okay, now Ultimate Flayo needs... He can burst and just kill Jubei. Yep. Like, it's just... If it, if yeah, it thinks it's, it's scary. It's scary. Yeah, yeah, I understand him not wanting to do that, but that's like... Okay, there we go. Oh, he... Yeah, that's it. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> That's a hard Teach lesson. <laughs> Teach him the lesson. This WFT fucking sucks. <laughs> oh my god, poor Jubei. And, and you can't abuse it. And I'm, I'm not sure I'm go I, I want to say poor Jubei after you beating me so much time. But uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah like, uh, that was a like, very good awareness from um, from your team Fleo, not, not letting yourself being bullied in the corner. I mean, at some distance, um, it is kind of risky because the Jubei can just get pushed back, and but the hitbox of the WFT will still be there. Okay. But this time, it was far enough. And that okay, was... But, but you see, like, at first, didn't want to, because it's scary. Like, you have a Jubei pressing you, doing WFT, WFT, WFT. Like, you, you don't want to, to risk, like, being in a vulnerable state. Yeah, yeah, I, I can understand why people lie. But it's, it, it, it is something you have to know, right? It's kind of like... I mean, it's kind of like a noob killer. It it should be working maybe like in the first weeks or two of the games, but once there is like kind of clear counter to it, uh, this is you no, know, it shouldn't fly anymore. I mean, like, it, but it, it it kind of works again, like floaty characters that jump at you, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Against very high jumps, you can actually use that. Yeah, like that, if that. you have a Tam Tam or Kyoshiro or Kyo jumping at you, you can double UFT, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Or uh, wall jump, you know. Yeah, or um, wall jumps depend. Yeah, it's kind of distance dependent, okay. uh, but it can be done, I guess. The thing is, like, I, I know that, like, if you miss it, like, the the guy, if the guy just lands behind you, the punishment is going to be SSM. So, yeah. <laughs> there there are a few situations. Like, I've actually managed to beat uh, Rimuru Okizeme from time to time with that when he was a bit late on the uh, Tondeke. Because uh, the recovery for the Tondeke is actually quite long, but aside from that, yeah, it's uh, it's really like a hard punish tool against DPs and stuff like that. But and you can get the occasional cheap damage after like an air reset. But other than that, yeah, I mean, even even in the corner, I it all I can say it's it's kind of like yeah, it's kind of like really range dependent and character dependent. But uh, so even back throw in the corner doesn't work. No, no, it doesn't work. Okay. 
He's one of the he's one of the two characters which can't combo from off a off a throw in a off a back throw in a corner. The other being Yashamaru. But yeah, anyway, before winner finals, uh, we are from pack to pack coming on the twentieth of March. So that will be arms. So not an open tournament, but an exhibition between selected players, I believe. And yeah, definitely, definitely check that out if you want to see a game with rollback netcode. <laughs> For a change. So that's going to be good stuff. 1 p.m. CET. So yeah, uh, you will have like very good player from uh, all over the world. I don't, I don't know if there will be Japanese player, but I, I know there will be player from the US and from uh, Europe. Who are actually able to have good match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Amazing, so, right? <laughs> yeah, be sure to check this uh, arm because arms is also a, a, a fighting game, at least a versus game. I don't know if you can. Yeah, it's definitely game. it's definitely part of the. I mean, like it's not a traditional fighting game, right? But it's definitely part of the versus fighting scene. It's a 3D fighters uh, without. Uh, how do you say? Uh, is there a name for like when the characters are locked one into each other? You know. Uh, or f yeah, you mean like yeah, not like Tekken, which is still uh, seen from like a two D perspective, or yeah, you, no, you... no, but I, I mean, even in Arms, I think they are they are. I I I haven't played this game, but uh, I watched it a bit, and yeah, there, there are still some kind of uh, lock. Uh, like it's oh. not like uh, Power Stone, you know, or yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. It's, it's kind of like Virtual On actually, but that's probably yeah. too much of a boomer reference. Ooh. <laughs> And we have, uh, so this is definitely not the matchup I was expecting. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, never I played Kriyoshiro before, but that's the first time I actually seen Ultimate Fleo play another character than Charlotte. And he went with Hiroa. Hiroa, interesting. So, Ultimate Fleo going uh, all, with all the waifus. Oh, yeah, going with all the waifus. Uh, man, I would say this matchup is really terrible for Kyoshiro on paper. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Like, she has a better projectile. Yeah, yeah, she she's... Double jump. She's definitely going to win uh, all the projectile wars. I, I, I think her, her jump goes over the Kyoshiro projectile. Oh, you mean... Yeah, okay, you a uh, small dash forward? Yep. Oh. Because, like, she, she can't run. Yeah, 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 that's oh, okay. a gimmick. Nice punish on the... Ooh, they went for DP there, a bit oh, weird. Okay. okay, straight into... Cancel, probably. Straight into WFT, not a lot of damage. Can Hero do a projectile uh, an arm? Um, I don't no no I don't think so. I'm not sure. I don't think she has anything when she's. Oh, oh good, uh, when are the weapon? Well, I'll, I don't know because I played Jubei. I've never played against Hero yeah. with no weapon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't play often against an arm uh, character. But yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't really know what an arm character do. Ooh, the five C from old. <laughs> Row 5C, <laughs> like, don't approach me. Yeah, you have to be very careful about not committing too hard to the uh, to the dash forward. Yeah, like, I, this one was like, I, I can kill him. Like, Kyoshiro can chip you to death with, like, any moves. Yeah. So, he was, like, very motivated. <laughs> very good confirm here. But then again, like, this move is, like, super punishable. Like, it's really minus 30 or something, I think. Oh. Yeah. Oh. But this one is not. <laughs> oh, it is? Uh, I think he did the M version or the, uh, the C version, oh, I mean the okay. B or C version. Because the A version is like minus 4 or something like that, so you can only grab it Very sometimes. Oh, didn't manage to deny um, oh, Team Fleo's weapon, but then again, but you know. At least he got the big punish on the weapon. Oof, that was a big one. He could have gone for 5C there, I think. Yeah, like, I wouldn't have got it by that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah, the light DP. I mean, it's not bad. The... Kyoshiro DP are like they have range. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at least they have a big, uh, big um, hitbox on them. All right, nice little conversion then. Yeah, I think yeah, that's um, Ultimate Field probably didn't practice the backdash projectile, uh, which makes Iroha so annoying. Oh, that's oh, okay, that's still something. Not the uh, four five C, but close five C also. Pretty good damage. Oh, and the okay, okay, doesn't want to get disarmed. Oh, that's unfortunate. It could have gone for... Um, it's 4k, I believe, which is the shoulder tackle, or 6k, I can't remember. And that would have mean like uh, Kyoshiro couldn't have burst after that, because it, it would be a hairborn. Oh, nice. Oh, that's, yeah, that's really punishable. I think, like, Nimanai probably doesn't know that, but... Or maybe try to do another... Like, you can do a... 
low uh, low close M with uh, fire one of the fire attack. Like the oh, fire, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, with the fire, the fire kick, right? Yeah. Oof, that's <laughs> BC5C there. Okay, for, I mean, the first Back round was two. definitely in a hero's favor, but um, nearby kind of adjusted. Did nice to see the, the frog. All right, so uh, is, it, success. is it first to three? Yeah, it's first to three, all right, so... Oh, okay, a lot of match, good, a lot of frog, a lot of hero, <laughs> maybe we'll see some Charlotte at some point. Yeah, I would say, like, if um, Ultimate Theo loses this, this one, he's probably going to go with Charlotte. Ooh, okay. Oh, nice. Punishing the deflect of the frog. Yeah. Very good DP here. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, I think... Um, you think they should play slightly more lame? I mean, that's how, that's how the character is supposed to be played. Oh, good punish there, on the overhead. Oh, yeah, full, com full combo. Okay. Oh man, yeah. Oh, didn't get it this time. Oh, did? Oh, did, that was like a last minute cross up. Yeah, that's like the best use of this move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just over your your, your opponent, and he doesn't know really which side you are. Yeah, that, that was a ton of damage there. I guess yeah. it was the, the rage too. This move is strong because, like, if you miss it, you can be like just SSM punished. And also, oh. it has a, a very bad hitbox, as you just see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, like, probably not too bad. I think this was the DP. Yeah, yeah. Or well, maybe got auto corrected from. He wanted to do whatever. Uh, uh, two, two, one, four is and turn into a two, three, six. Oh no, jump! And again, like this, 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 uh, this, this running uh, M is so good because like. Oh no. yeah. Yeah, that's not invincible or anything. This is oh, the did the wolf. Did it didn't Whoa. burst. That was a really direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't really got hard. Um, I think Ultimate is not really managing to beat up the pressure from Kyoshiro there. Yeah. That's probably going to go with Charlotte. I so beautiful. So. Yeah, we have the frog fans in the chat. <laughs> I'm trying not to be biased too. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh... Oop. All right, that's fine. Yes, it's first to three, it's first to three. Yeah, it is first to three. It is, uh, uh, Ultimate Field definitely knows that. I was, just, I was just saying that because um, I streamed Frost for a bit, but that's fine. So, yeah, they are gonna... So we're probably gonna see the Charlotte. Uh, I Can think, yeah. The, the reverse three. three yeah, four. yeah, no, it's Charlotte all the way. Be biased. It's, it's, it's frog time. I mean, there's a one frog on the side and another frog on the other side. So, it... <laughs> <laughs> how can you compare? It's the princess and the frog. You mean? <laughs> a princess and the frog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's like Ira. I've never seen him play Ira in tournament before, so I guess he's just kind of starting on the character. Yeah, I don't think he already he, like he worked a lot on this character. Because yeah, you obviously like you play Ira very differently. I think like a, a proper hero would be like a nightmare for Kyoshiro to deal with. Yep. Definitely. And Ooh. again, this matchup is also for Charlotte, I believe. I mean, to be honest, like which matchups does Kyoshiro win if you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if there really, really is one. Maybe against Maybe Wu, I food? guess. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how this matchup goes, even though I've, I've been playing one foot for a year. Can you DP the... Yeah, you can do light DP, it doesn't have any vol, but the hitbox is decent. No, no, can you DP the, the pillar throw with Yoshiro? Oh! Oh man, I... <laughs> how would I know that? <laughs> we need to play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll definitely try that out. We need to lap this match up. Oh, oh got, a, got a bit too hard. He committed, but not when the opponent has the WFT. Yeah, yeah, it's I mean... It... Okay, that's going to be hard. I I'm... Guess. And, I mean... But Nirvana is playing very well, the Kyoshiro, like, the, all the mix-up, you know, like, you run, and it's Ooh. either... Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, okay, it's wanted to kill oh, the I weapon. I think it was a good idea not to take the sword, because he would have died. Yeah, 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 the, the animation is still, like, probably would have hit the same thing. But he got hit. So that's match point for Nirvana, which is, a, you know, you beat me last time, but this time, I'm the champion. <laughs> well, it's definitely not over. Oof, like DP as we've been. I mean, yeah, this move does so much range. Oh, Sevot, thank you for following, man. As a whiff punish is very good. 
But yeah, so I, as I was saying, like Nirvana is doing really well as mixing like running, uh, running kick and running M because one is like over yeah, and yeah. also cover also covers the, the jump. Yeah, uh, having a run, uh, having a running override is a very strong tool in this game. But it's punishable. Of course. Yeah, obviously it is punishable. But at least you oh, force. Get... You have to rush, yeah. Yeah, yeah, kind of. I, mean, I was seeing the, the rage bar. I was like, oh, he's gonna, he's gonna run, grab, he's gonna run, grab. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, speaking of run, oh, didn't get the. Yeah, you have to do two C after a front grab with Charlotte, I think. Yep. I don't, I don't think five C works. No, it doesn't work. Either. Which is kind of weird. Like, Ultimate player should know that, but. All WFT. Yeah, all WFT. He's panicking. Like... Yeah, so that's going to be a tough one. Uh, he still has kind of the life lead. Yeah, getting clipped by the jump. Ooh, yeah, didn't go okay. Good. Oh, that was uh, interesting because uh, if you lose there, th uh, he does. Oh. Uh, that makes the match way more balanced. So, I mean, he still has like he still has two zero, right? So, yeah, of course. But like, it was very like Fleo was already in a bad situation, and he managed to to get. Yeah, back that, that, that that's looking better for. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <As a double laughs> that's the princess and the frog are shaking hands. I heard that some people want uh, a grab tech in the season 3. I don't agree with that. Uh, no, I don't see that happening. I mean, there's already dodge. So that's the, that's the hard counter and that's a very big counter. Straight onto the... Ooh, yeah, it went oh. a bit too far and that's a punish. Yeah, it yeah, yeah, really... Yeah, and that's the mix-up. And again, this is gonna be a DP. No. Oh, didn't. And that's the... Yeah, the frog takes... Yeah, I think he tried to go for a DP as a recall cancel, but didn't work out. No, I, I think the 2C was a, a missed DP. Ah. As a wake-up option. I mean, uh, yeah, but he would have... If he was mashing DP, that would have come out at this point, right? I don't know. Like, sometimes you just miss the input, you know? <laughs> Why would you not mash DP? At like... <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Nirvana else takes it with the frog. And that's trio for Nivanael moving on to grand finals. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, like I mean, maybe we do the loser final first. Uh, I mean, yeah, we can't have the. Any, we have to wait for the grand. Maybe we have something before the grand, the losers finals. Um. Yeah, we might. Yeah, I think we might see every remaining match now. Uh, right now, Chrome is fighting against Azuki. So, so we have uh, Nirvanael waiting on Grand Final. Yeah, oops. Once again, my stream. Oop, never mind that. There we go. We are back. Uh, yeah, we have. Um, so we have in semi final, in loser semi finals, there's El Vivo waiting. Uh, he'll, he'll be playing against the winner of Azuki Chrome. And then, you know, Team Fleo is waiting in loser's final. So, yeah, I think we have like three matches left. Yep, so matches just confirmed. We have loser semi, loser final, and grand final coming yeah. up next. Oh, that makes sense. Let's go. So we're just waiting for whatever the result is between Azuki and uh, Chrome, and I think they're done. Just... So, yeah, so Ultimate Fleo need to go out of the room. Yeah, I, I agree, Prevsky. They, they need to nerf Kyoshiro in season 3. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just turn him back into vanilla. Just make frog. Just make frog a low. <laughs> kick, kick him. Yeah, kick him. That's what you get. Good sir. Like who who would have the crazy idea to put frog as a low? Like no one could fix that. No one could do that, right? That would make the move really hard. I, I do remember facing a few Kyo in vanilla, and dude, that was like, I, I don't want to say free wins, but man, that's yeah, probably that was, my, that was my first main. I mean, the character is really cool. Uh, he has a very good tools. He's like, he feels like he has every move you want. But the thing is, none of the moves does anything you want. <laughs> I mean, at least he didn't in Vanilla, so... Yep, but... I mean, was, was, that, was that also an, uh, an issue with... Uh, is DP invincibility in Vanilla? I don't remember. Uh, oh, man, I can't remember. I mean, like, Frog was definitely the big thing that sucked. Um, yep. There were some other things, like, I think 5M whiffed on uh, crouching opponents when he was up close or something on some some dumb stuff okay. like that yeah generally speaking like the character was yeah was considered really bad right from the start Oop. yeah that, that was 2c yeah thanks king for yeah 2c didn't yeah that's what the one when he gets the um his spear up well, what's happening there oh so we've got a loser semi in first to three. Oh, loser semi is first to three all right, that does like the way all the way is first to three. 
Yeah, right now I think like one of the biggest two with Ikyoshiro is that his rage movie is essentially good. Yeah, it's, I, uh, it's the fire, it's the yeah, fire move, it's, right? Yeah, it's the fire kick. Uh, well, mean, that that's something I'm not sure is going to change though. To see the hit crouchers in five special, uh, I guess yeah, for consistency's sake. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it was slightly better in five special than it is. Is it the frog in five special uh, also a low and not a grab? Uh, I, uh, that might be too bad. I feel like the range is insane, right? In five specials. Not. I mean, I remember playing. I'm just trying like a bit five special, but I'm not sure. Like, um, I mean, I know there are some five special players in the chat. Like, wasn't the, the frog not a not a not a grab and just a low? I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, it's been a while since I haven't played five special. But uh, yeah. But I think he is a quite a good character in Five Special. Oh, the frog was a low instead. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's top tier, I believe, in a Five Special. The damage oh, okay, was higher. But damage was higher. Okay. Yeah, so makes sense. That's, that's, that's a, that's a Ooh, so Elvivo will play one foo. Oh, that, that's a matchup we know where, right? Yeah, what yeah, we, we, we've done this one quite a lot. Uh, so it's interesting, right? Because CP Lab does shut off a lot of um, Tam Tam's option, but the, obviously in the neutral, uh, it's not really easy for one foo to get in. Uh, yeah, like yeah. It. it really depends on your ability to block the cross up pillar, basically. And to uh, deflect the SSM. <laughs> yeah, deflect the SSM. <laughs> Especially like with character like Wonfu, it's quite easy since he has a running SSM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no matter the distance, you, it's guaranteed. You don't care. As long as you deflect, you can just SSM. Yeah. Ooh, an interesting trade there. Oh, trade. Oh. Oh, <laughs> trade again, yeah. Expanding the. The hard box. So shoot, shoot out to the extra life where, where, where we played a lot of this match. Yeah, yeah, we did all of this match in extra life. Ooh, and nice. They, they will get by the, the crisis. Uh, this play some show offline. Offline, some show, yeah. Paris. They, they seem to be looking okay to me. Like they're actually working in the in the cafe right now, sir. So. so for yeah, that's that's the hangout place for some show players in Paris, for the law. And I hope uh, all of you guys can come. Yeah, one day. Yeah, one day. We'll all play some show together in real life. <laughs> that, that seems so unlikely now, but we'll, we'll get there eventually. Okay. Yeah, Entire yeah, with... Yeah, that, that's like... It's not instant, but it's still pretty fast and the hitbox is quite generous, so... Yeah, as a air-to-air is very good. Yeah, it is a pretty good air-to-air. -air. And the thing is, like, it's kind of like an option select where you have some distance where it would uh, cross up anyway. So, you know, if you get the air-to-air, -air, you're like, oh, yeah, whatever. I'll take that. And the, like the hitbox is so huge, like. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. Ooh, yeah. He, but... he, he can punish that, right? No, um, it was max range. So yeah, if if uh, one full whiff is, you can actually punish that, yeah. No, I mean the tam tam two C. Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Depends on the range, of course. Yeah, he could do like a, a light pillar spin, uh, uh, which does come out quite fast. But aside from this. Oh, yeah, I tried to go for the optimal uh, combo, but it's quite hard to do. It's you have to do, like, micro walk, 2B or 5B, and then um, C. Uh, C uh, no, no, you actually do C. Um, oh, okay. C pillar spin. You can do DP when you have rage, because this deals more damage, but you might as well try to get the WFT. Oof! Oh, man, could have, nice for the, uh, yeah, could have gone for the SSM, I think. I mean, you would have burst anyway, but, uh, yeah. No, no, because you can't burst out of your whiffed uh, grab. Oh, that's right. So, yeah, that could have been SSM, but I guess it was kind of hard to see coming. All right, gets it this time. That's... Well, yeah, it's kind of... Because you did the micro walk. Oh. Oh, just 5C yeah. this dude. Okay. Sadly, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> yeah, it was a good try, but... Like, it, ready. It's not like one foot does have anything you want to do in full screen. Yes. I mean, a jump, but if he jumps, you're going to hit a pillar, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not... Uh... So LV will take it, and Chrome didn't even have time to um, to rage explode there. Yeah. So are we going to see a, a um, one foo in top three? That would be pretty sick. Oh yeah, lose the final. Right now, I mean, he's already top four. Yeah, that's the cross up. I mean, you, also you... like I think Elvivo went to to losers. Like Zeus, Zeus two went went to losers in the first round. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's doing a loser run right now. They are both doing a loser run. So the one who wins. Uh... Ooh. Yeah, that's to see. You can't do anything else after a front throw. 
Oh, okay, went for the... Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, I think um, Elvivo needs to use a, uh, like, Blade Catch more. Because that's a very good tool. Okay, gets back yes. to... Oh, yep, that oh, works. Very good answer. Yeah, yeah, you very good answer. Yeah, especially for Tam Tam, which has a very slow jump. Oh, don't like get to... You, yeah, you just... just can't jump. When one of us WFT, you can't jump. Oh, okay, goes for the... Uh... 5B into CDP. So that's that's not match point though, it's still first to three, but nope, right now LV LV are winning a lot of uh, matches in a row. Yeah, ta one foo is kind of hard to deal with if you don't really know about the character. So we saw here a deflect but no SSM. Yeah, no SSM. Oh, okay. I guess he's getting in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> that's a classic, you know, opening the round with uh, deflecting Tam Tam. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the trade. Like yeah, yeah, the the Hitbox on the pillar is really big. Yes, yeah, the vertical fire like goes very high. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely oh, a good tool. And once again, no, okay. Yeah, it's Ooh. the thing is like it's quite low. It's quite slow, really. Uh, really? Because uh, yeah, it, it, would... it looks okay. fast, but actually, if you look at the starter frame, uh, oh, nice! There we are. I was nice. talking about that. But I know you. Good luck to get your weapon back. I mean, you get a better that's command that's grab, that's so that's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he finally stopped. I mean, this is something he didn't use uh, at all in this match. It's, Ooh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Jump. like he was too jumpy. Yeah, you can't really do that. I mean, uh, Chrome hasn't used uh, the Tatsumaki. Oh, yeah, true, yeah. And there are some use for, for this move, like recoil, in, especially in recoil cancel. It can be very, very fast. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, come out fast, it's a low. So, yeah. So, we have another match now. Does Chrome yeah. have any other characters? Oh, wait. Oh, Elio went back to room, but that's not... Uh... I hope he knows that uh, it's a first to three. Yeah, yeah, no, he doesn't, so... Okay. We just told him on Discord. All right, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. If, if he sees Chrome's getting ready, I think he might have an idea as to why. Yeah, okay, he's going to get back. That's fine. It's weird to commentate one for against them, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> At least we kind of know how the matchup goes. I mean... Oh, okay. Oh, Crow no. pulling out the Hanzo there. Oh, so he has a Hanzo. Interesting. Yeah, so that's, um, you know, that's less floatiness for the jumps. So that's going to be harder to entire with the WFT. Yep. And but then again, like... Yeah. Mix up tables. And then again, the thing is, like, you have to be able to deal with uh, one foot defensively. And that's uh, that's something that really comes with practice. He, 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 didn't, he didn't do that much. Uh, no, he didn't do that much. Yeah, but to be fair, like, a lot of them uh, hit while Tam Tam was jumping. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Just LV all waiting patiently. Oh yeah, jump B, very good buttons. Oh yeah, that, so yeah, you can with punish that, like if you have the awareness to see that one foo is not hitting you with the pillar. That's actually like with punishable. Oh yeah, the, the yeah, the ju jump C. Volleyball player. Maybe we when see uh, when one foo in a, uh, yeah, dead or alive, <laughs> dead or alive collaboration. <laughs> 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 Okinawa edition. Uh, you know, for the, the Bando, for the beef. No, no, just just put one foo in the base game with all the girls. That's fine. <laughs> just just fit right in. Ooh, okay. Block the five C. Could have gone for a uh, command grab there, but that's fine. Oh yeah, w would you pay for one foo DLC in Dead or Alive? Uh... Ah man, yeah. Even though that means I have to buy. I mean, like like I said, like the volleyball game is free to play now. Really? Even though, yeah, yeah, it's region locked, but uh, you can you can work around that. I don't know why I know this, but <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, Rob, that's not great, is it? Yeah, I mean, he yeah panicked, that's. He was, he, like, oh, okay. He, and, uh... he got lucky that that yeah, Misty. That's going to be really tough. Not not, uh, not the optimal punish though. No, I think it was unsafe about the distance. Yeah. yeah, you can't really do that. So that's that's going to be rough, right? Because Hanzo without rage is. Uh... It's not as bad, but Reg is such a huge thing for him. So that's going to be really tough there. Ooh, oh, but that's oh, okay. a that's a pretty cool way to dodge the pillar. Okay, 
Ah, oh, didn't that's, get to. That's the ninja way. But yeah, that's the ninja finish. way. Oh yeah. Oh, interesting. I like, really thought that was. The thing a... is, like, you, you can't really play the projectile game against one foot because, like, you might. Yeah, like <laughs> maybe if you get like a knockdown in your full screen or something like that, you can do it. But. uh Combo. Oh, okay. Once again, yeah, you pretty much want to be full screen all the time against one foot. Oh, <laughs> cute little interaction there. A bit too oh, far yeah, from the... Uh, we saw an interaction I wanted to comment it before, like, he, he dodged the on foot teleportation, you know, the the Sonic uh, animation, like, the, the spin. Yeah. like, it's not a good idea, like, uh, because on Onzo is the, it's the most vulnerable when you block it. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. But you, you obviously, you don't know that, like, it's not bad to throw a spot dodge once in a while. Yeah, of course. But yeah, so that's a yeah, pretty clean win there for El Vivo. Yeah. N Moving on to losers finals. 3-0 with one foot. That's not but, something you see all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I guess like to be fair, uh, if you don't really know the matchup, one foot can just like stomp you over. That's true. That's character that's very hard to deal with if you don't know his Yeah, yeah, like, if you don't really know how it works, it's um He's Gem C uh he's a Gem C unarmed thing like this. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's really like the cross up pillar, even though as you said we didn't see that many of them. There wasn't uh, any butt attack either. Uh, yeah, that's true. The overhead. <laughs> he didn't try to go for the overhead in the corner. The mighty butt. Stronger S than Eras. <laughs> <laughs> true that. Alright, uh, so yeah, so Ellie was staying in the room. Uh, we are going to get Ultimate Fleo now. Now we'll see. Yeah, Team Fleo versus El Vivo. Yeah, also first to three. I've actually played a bit uh, the One Fu versus Hero uh, matchup, and I actually thought it wasn't that bad for One Fu. Really? Yeah. yeah it's like because uh, I guess we played against Instinct, right? Yeah, yeah, I played against Instinct. And he, like he plays a lame game. It, it does play way. very lame. Um, the thing, like, I mean, against Backdash. Projectile, you can't do the C pillar, but uh, air throw pillars actually works quite well against Hero. Okay. You can get like good trade on her entire projectile. But yeah, it's kind of like a guessing game and it's it can be pretty hard. And it's true that one foot can move forward like very easily because when you throw the pillar. Yeah, yeah, you definitely cover some distance, so. Like the opponent can, cannot do anything but like block or uh, try to go under, which is very You hard. know, it, it is a very stupid thing, but once you get the life lead against Hero, uh, and you start to just just defend every projectile. She's actually have a, having a hard time to get back to your life. Like she, she still has some mix up, like you know with. Um, yeah, but she has to get, she has to get close to that though. So if you play one foot, that's what you want. Okay. I see. But anyway, that's not going to be the match there. It's going to be a uh, one foot with Charlotte. So what do you think of this matchup as a one foot player? Uh, I mean, once again, I haven't fought against a lot of Charlotte, so I I don't think that, once again I don't think it's that bad for one foot. Oh, that didn't cross it this time. I mean, she has a range, like... Yeah, yeah, she has the speed and uh, range advantage. But no, I don't think she has anything that really, like, give one foo tons of trouble, right? You know, it's hard to shut down one foo uh, with Charlotte. But, I mean, we, we often say that one foo is, like, bad character. He's not uh, yeah. a good character, so... Yeah, okay. I mean, I, I, every matchup we saw, well, you're like, oh, it's not. Bad I, I don't, I don't think one foot is actually as bad as people say is. Okay. Interesting. Like, uh, I, I, the character has, has a lot of weaknesses, uh, but it's, it's not terrible. Like, it's not like Wu, where it's the character is very hard to play, just because like one foot has a more kind of straightforward gameplay. But like, yeah, I mean, there is also the fact that you have to get back your pillar when you throw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's kind of a thing that can mess you up really bad. Uh, the so thing is, like, yeah, pillar, pillar throw is not going to be working very well against good players. And you have to play with the other tools of the characters, which are not great, but not terrible either. Like, jump B is very good, too, but right now it's getting mauled a bit. Okay. Okay. This is not invincible. Yeah, this is not invincible. So pretty even match, like uh, right now it this is look... was dominated by Fleo, but uh... yeah, yeah. After a first, first, okay, yeah, that's time. It is a cross up. Oh, was that like a miss TP? Okay, 
Okay, to see. Ooh. Whoa, very oh, nice call there. Very nice. Backdash optimal. and doing the SSM. Yeah, that was definitely optimal. So, not going to chill, but quite close. Oh, right. never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Underestimate the damage in some show. Yeah, it's true that Charlotte is not part of the 95% damage anymore. So, that was like. Oh, that's uh, true. And he did get. Did he get the counter? I didn't pay attention to that, but. The armor is not true anymore. Yeah, she. I mean, why, why was this character more, had she more has, life? She has armor. <laughs> yeah, sure. Look at this strong armor. Like, she has metal plate on her. I mean, look at the size of one Fupilas, though. Like, it's, <laughs> it's like the size of a Charlotte and a half. Yes, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, very good stuff there. Just like a very strong punish. Ooh. I could have gone for command grab, but... No, I don't, I don't think we saw much command grab here from El Bivo. No, not really. Always, um... Sorry, he always picks up his weapon back quite quickly. Oh, okay. Just Ma forward. Okay, just as we're talking. <laughs> Maybe he's listening to the stream. <laughs> stream sniping. Stream sniping, yeah. Not like you're gonna... It's gonna help you a lot. Yeah, uh, mid-match. Mid <laughs> mid-match. <laughs> Jump! <laughs> <laughs> if I say okay, you have to jump. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to be a problem with the stream delay. All right, so oh yeah, got a bit too grabby. Went, wanted to go for the WFT. Yeah, that's not going to work. Dead. Yeah, and unlike the regular pillar throw, this one is like hella punishable. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Like yeah, also that, that this is one of the things you need to learn with your one foot. Like you can't, you can't punish uh, the pillar throw. Yeah, yeah, like it. because it's plus like a million or something. Uh, so you have to kind of take the mix up after that. Ooh, okay, go for oh, the. Okay. Overhead. Oh, I think it was the WFT. Ah, uh, but he didn't have his. Oh yeah, you mean for Charlotte? Yeah. Yeah, yeah pro probably so. She like she threw an overhead in the neutral. It was a bit weird. <laughs> okay. Ah uh, yeah. Grab. Oh. Yeah, he's it. trying to go for the um, for the optimal grab follow-up, but it's quite hard to do, to be honest. Okay, the DP just went over the, <laughs> the bayonet, like, didn't punish, but at least he didn't get hit. Okay, that's... Oh, nice a yeah, AP left throw. Once again. Ooh, oh, that could be a problem, though. I mean, yeah, that the, that's that could be a bad situation, because right now LVO can't... Yeah, he can't burst. So you have to be very careful if your opponent is up around. Yeah, with the pillar throw, it's... Yeah, yeah, that's kind of a risky tricky. move. Because at some point, you know, like, if you are up around against one Fu and he throws a pillar, you can actually rage explode there to, you know, not get hit by it. And that's going to be very tough for one Fu to get it back. So that's one thing that the character is not... I mean, that's one of the limits of the uh, pillar throw. It's Yeah, like, can... if, you have la if you are, like, last round... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or even if ju just if the guy is just a ra a round up, it's, it might be worth him for him to just totally shut you down. Okay, just went for the... Ooh. Oh, like, that's where are. Like, yeah, yeah. like you can definitely shut her down in the air, like... Yeah, J Jumbi is a very good move. It's, it's, very, it's a very strong air to air. Yeah, like, right now, Charlotte it, Jump is much more ooh, faster. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like Way I said, it, it's kind of like a versus Jubei. Like, the difference in jump height is quite interesting. No, I mean, here, here he was in the corner, you know? So, like, oh, in the precedent ooh, uh, match, the, we saw... Whoa, it's that yeah, combo. Yeah, that, that's the true combo. That's the optimal uh, follow-up for the other okay. grab combo. But, like, he could have, like, throw the pillar, WFT pillar in the, in the corner, but, like, since her jump is much, much faster... Yeah, yeah, like I said, um, it doesn't look like it, but... <laughs> it, that was a weapon. Le pif, mon gars, le pif! Ooh. Whoa! Oh. Was... <laughs> Very clean. Yeah, yeah don't, don't try to do that. Just it was a projectile? Cause that, yeah, that's it. So it goes in the air really fast, so you can actually um, dodge some grounded moves. But yeah, actually, like the, the time between the pillar throw and the times when it lands, it's not that fast. Okay. So yeah, when Shard jumps back in the corner, I'm not really sure he can hit there on the... Unless, unlike maybe, unless, level, maybe he does it like on the very first frame of the jumps, but... Okay. Oh. Yeah, just get it back, but you have to I mean, be not, careful not, now. I mean, well, you're talking about like fast jump character, but... Uh... 
Like, yeah, yeah. Just a, a bomb or Oof. Oof. Oh, that's dead, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's dead. It it's kills. dead. One mistake. Yeah, I mean, that's normal, right? You, The guy is rushing towards you, he's in rage explosion, so you want to check him out with, like, a button, and... Well, if you nope. just <laughs> ascend, then... So that's 2-1 for El Vivo. Very good performance there. Keep the guard up, keep the guard up. Like, especially in this kind of uh, situation where you have, like, a big life lead, yeah. like, you can eat a true or two, it's not a... Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Like, you... Often, you, you will be, like, uh, on the ground, you can wait for the bar to deplete. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's definitely like a huge, uh, a huge part of the game is like the rage management, especially the rage management of your opponent. Well, yeah, which is... Which is pretty, it's pretty hard to do, to be honest. But that's what like, makes the games fun. Oh, didn't I mean, go for the... Especially, like, since people have very different, like, reaction when yeah. they are in rage. Some will, will just rush and try to combo you, some will try to ascend, so... Yeah, it's, it's always a very uh, interesting mind game with the opponent. Like, sometimes you're just doing a uh, Royce and right after you rage explode, because a lot of people do backdash yep. after uh, the opponent is and so it, 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 it will work, get like... it can get beaten by... Uh... Oh yeah, didn't get the pillar, didn't manage to... Yeah, I think uh, El Vivo might need to do a little bit more weapon catch. It worked out pretty well for him at some point. Oh, shit, just dash. <laughs> okay, the, the Why one not? of the, of Ooh. the pillar man. Yeah, that's just bit... run through. Oh, that wasn't actually a punish, I think. But uh... okay, this time though. Oh man, now didn't get a full conversion. Oh, yeah, he's going for this um, kind of weird dodge at, uh, at times. I'm not sure what he's really gunning for there. Okay, yeah, jumping yeah. B. Now, Ultimate Flow need to be careful of the WFT. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Oof. Oof, didn't go for the re <laughs> CDP I recall was, cancel. I, I think this is a DP. He... When you do 2C on wake up. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Then he, he does why, his. Why would you 2C on wake up? Uh, like, uh... Yeah, but if he does DP, he does it really cleanly because he doesn't commit to it. Right? Oh, okay. Oof. Yeah, he jumped. Yeah, he jumped. Yeah, that's. Jumped. That comes out quite fast once, in, once he's in the air. You can interrupt the starter, but you have to be really close. So that's match point for El Vivo. Yep. So El Vivo looking. Ooh, ooh, that's kind of choppy. All right, looks like it back. Hopefully, the stream and the game. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. I just did throw a bit. No, that's not going to work though. Uh, yeah, it was probably t you can SSM punish that when it's oh, okay. Yeah, oh, that's oh, that's hard. <laughs> yeah, that's hard. So that's how you're supposed to do. Because like you, you have to try to take your weapon uh, when you are like back. Your, your yeah, your that's going to the screen is com even if the screen is completely covering oh. it. Try to do it because sometimes ah. the hitbox is a bit is a bit large. All oh, right, yeah, that, that was going to be tough. I would have burst as ultimate flail there during the grab, oh, just to deny even more. But I think yeah, LVO missed missed the, uh, miss the knockdown. So yeah, that's like two and two. Or... Yeah, yeah, he just did. Uh, he, he, want, he probably wanted to do a running attack. It's kind of funny because you can just do like 5C after a back throw and it will cause a knockdown. Okay. But he probably tried to do a running attack and that uh, that, missed, oh. that messed up. So yeah, maybe, cost... maybe a character change? Did, did I go back to the lobby? Ooh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, um, even though Alvio has been playing Wanfu, he started with Ukyo originally. Oh, that's right. He got he got his second place with Ukyo the, um, in the second or third tournament. Oh no! Okay, okay stay. Oh, no, no. Never mind. Sticking to Wanfu. I mean, his Wanfu's been doing pretty all right in this match so far. Yeah, like he's really even. So yeah, it, it's, been, it's been quite close. We and we had like some close rounds. We had like a lot of that was also like kind of a blow up. I mean, that's how some show goes, right? Yep. You can never predict. Oh. Oh, it ends. So let's see what we got here for this semi final. Uh, no, sorry, loser final. It's loser final, and uh, we've, we've got Nirvanael waiting yeah. in Grand Final. Nirvanael, we know. The Frogmaster. Probably getting all the data right now. <laughs> see. Also, I didn't mention that uh, Ultimate Fleo took the, takes the worst color for Charlotte. But... <laughs> You can be a gold saint. What would you take green color? <laughs> I think I like the white one better, but... Uh... Yeah, the white one is quite good too. Oh, 
Alright, to see. Getting his game start. Oh. Yeah, I think it was mm, waiting for a DP. <laughs> Ooh, but there there he is. Nice DP here. Oh uh, yeah, I think um your team should oh. try to be more active in denying uh, one through his weapon. Oh, right, just the pressure. Can't really do much about it. I mean, you saw that he tried the weapon catch? Oh, no, uh, I, I, I missed it. Yeah, it's not always going to work, obviously, but uh, I think so that, yeah, that's, so th that's the right thing. But like, adapted and like, mixed, mixed more with jump and kicks. Yeah, I mean, you can really go hard on one foo uh, when he doesn't have his weapon, because he still has the command grab. Of course. And good button. And decent button. Oh. Oh wow, what a punish! <laughs> Probably totally, wasn't totally intentional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 it'll, it'll definitely look nice. Oh yeah, landing oh, yeah. on the bayonet lash. Work as an anti yeah, that's true. Okay, this time yeah. <laughs> Got the knockdown. Yeah, I was wondering if you can get the command grab off the grab with one foot, but I guess you can't. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was so close in the corner. I was like, hey, maybe. Oh, maybe it works. I don't nah, know. I, I don't think you can grab something. Okay, okay. Oh, that's bad. That's kind of a bad decision there for me to play. Oh. oh. So actually, said, like against one foot, it's very strong. Oh. oh. Man, like if Ultim Fleo lost this match, it's probably because he burst there for kind of no reason. I mean, we don't know. He could have still lost even with his rage. Yeah, 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 but uh, that's yeah. he's going into a, that's going to be a bad. Uh, that's not a very good situation for him right now. Like, he Ooh, oh, yeah, finish it. yeah, you, you can't, but you, it's that's basically unblockable. Ooh, okay, but all right, picks up back his weapon. So, yeah, good life lead here for our team. Fleo Who wants his revenge against Nirvana in grand uh, final, yeah, but that's maybe me. with a full charlotte this time, yeah, yeah. I don't think he, like, he has to reset the bracket, so he's probably not going to be messing around with your uh, very good, actually, but well. Yeah, Elvivo can definitely win. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's quite close. One or two pillars could do it. <laughs> that's that's oh, the, the one. Uh... <laughs> I'm trying to go for the <laughs> yeah for the yeah that's oh, yeah the you have to learn how to block that. It's not easy. It can be done. It's not punishable though. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> the one foo special. So we have a one foo in grand finals. Yeah. I mean, I mean, maybe he was going to be Kukio. But <laughs> I mean, especially a solo one foot attack because I, I believe he, he only played one foot. Yeah, so uh, he, he has a Nukio. Uh, there's one match we didn't see uh, where he fought against, uh, I think it was Solarius? No, that was against Dave Grind. Uh, I'm not sure if he went full one foot versus Dave Grind, but so far we've seen uh, six wins as one foot. So three against Chrome and three against LV, uh, Ultim Fleo. So we're going to grand finals very soon. Yeah, Nirvanael asking, is the pillar throw a cross up? <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> you should ask which move it's not, it's not a cross up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this, uh, this yeah, tournament. Yeah. Like, to see some uh, switch blood here. Some switch players going at it, so... And don't forget that just after that, yeah, the NA tournament. Earlier on tonight, I mean, for us it's tonight, uh, there will be like North America tournament. With, uh, on, I think it's on Surfbot yeah, channel. It's on like our, he's in the chat. I see him in our the good chat. friend Surfbot who, who do, uh, was doing a lot of commentary, right? Com also commentated uh, Totsu Zenshi, I believe. Yeah, like uh, we, you, you often saw him on, uh, on commentary on the US event, so experienced commentator. Definitely. Always nice to see. Of course. And of course, don't forget the oh. arms crew battle that will happen on the 20th of March. So invitation, yeah. The best play player of arms. Of the best arms player, like from Europe, from North America. I don't know if, it's, and also from South America, like for all, from America, let's say. Yeah, yeah for for pretty much all over the world, uh, maybe except Asia, because. Uh, I'm not. Well, I but, don't know. I, I think they have some Japanese contact also. So. Oh, it will be interesting. But yeah, if you want to see some international action, uh, see what the wonders of a good net card can do for your game. And also a very fun and original game, like. Yeah, yeah, definitely. A, a fresh take on versus. On the, on an versus interesting, game. interesting part of the versus fighting uh, scene. Did you try a bit the game? Oh, I know you have mm, a switch. 
I yeah. Uh, no, I haven't tried ARMS. I remember there was like an, actually an ARMS side tournament during the uh, EVO Japan I went on, but uh, couldn't really attend that. But yeah, um, they are, might, might be giving this look uh, on the 20... That was 20, yeah, on the 20th. Yep, 20th of March. The ARMS crew battle on Wolf TV. So be sure to come in and uh, to drop by and check uh, how this game is played, who are the top tier, what are the broken strategy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's definitely going to be high level, so that's all. Like, people, I guess, kind of know about harms, or, or it looks like a, like a lower level when you're just, like, waggling around uh, with your Joy-Cons. But, like, if you want to see what proper gameplay looks like, that's definitely a, a good way to check out. Uh... Definitely. So now we wait for... Near Vanael? No. Oh, uh, El Vivo got out. He needs to go back. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's it's going it's quite late here. What's happening? So yeah, El Vivo actually can't make it. He has to he has to leave right now. Oh shit. So I so think he, got, uh, he's Ultimate giving Flair. yeah he's giving his uh, place to Ultimate Flair. And that was very close, so... Yeah, yeah, it's not like it was a blowout. I mean, it's not like uh, Ultimate Flare does not deserve the place there. But that's a bit unfortunate. Because um, El Vivo didn't do that well at the last tournament. And he was looking, you know, it was chipping up better for him this time. But, yeah, so... his wife is yelling at him, so... Yeah, as much as, as much as said, the wife matchup is the hardest in the game. Yeah, yeah even harder than the PS4 lobbies. <laughs> Although, I mean... I mean, in some show, you often have players that uh, that lose, uh, that are very, that lose against the wife matchup, the kids matchup. The kids matchup, yeah, <laughs> definitely. So yeah, it's going to be, uh, well, it's going to be the run back there for Ultim Fleo. Uh, I think, <laughs> if if he can join. So yeah, El Vivo has to to drop the tournament. I mean, <laughs> if he lost, he could have, like, not be yelled at, <laughs> but he won. He's too good for his own sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He probably told his wife, nah, it's fine. I'm going to go in too. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I'll be soon. But yeah, going all the way to grand finals from loser side after the, losing his first match. Who did he lose again? again? Uh, he got kicked out by Azuki, actually. So he got these... No, he didn't get to get his revenge against Azuki. Oh, that's interesting. Like, he lost against a player we haven't seen? Uh... Yeah, yeah, we're... No, we have, we've seen a match of... We have, we've seen a Nirvana Yata Shizuki. Okay. I was playing the uh, Nakoruru. But yeah, they didn't fight against in Loser's Sound, because um, Azuki got kicked out by Chrome. I mean, that's where you see, like, the matchup knowledge, the player knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. Oh, classic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, if they get the if they get the memo, uh, yeah, because Matthias did not have time to go back into spectator mode. Another hard matchup. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Um, depending on the, how fast it goes. I hope the the saw the message. Yeah, same here. Yeah, we don't get uh I don't have the game I'm on Switch right now and it, w it would be quite hard anyway for me to like I could have gone into spectator mode. Oh, can you kick I don't think you can kick them while they're playing. You can close the lobby. Can, can you? Why I, mean, I don't see why you can't why you why I, I don't know. We, we, I don't think we've ever tried that. Yeah, we can try like Yeah, don't worry, El Vivo, we understand. Sends all regards to your wife. <laughs> yep. Well, that's uh, not just you. Yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't kick a player wise in a match. Okay. We, uh, we just learned something new today about the Sam Show functionality. <laughs> no problem. No problem. El Vivo is from Spain, I guess. Yeah, El Vivo is from Spain. Ah, uh, si. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. No problemas. Cause I know you speak Spanish, but that wasn't very convincing. 
It's my it's my girlfriend who's gonna yell at me for for my bad accent. For bad. <laughs> my bad Spanish. No hablo español. Estoy esperando al autobús. <laughs> That's basically the whole range of my Spanish. Okay, so I don't think they got the memo. Uh, yeah, probably not. So, well, it's going to be a button check match. <laughs> to be sure everything is fine. It's not like they just played together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, obviously, but you know, right? that's the damage control. Yeah, we can't see the progress too. Oh, um, oh yeah, yeah. That that's a good move from uh, Matthias there. Yes. So they will get. They can't rematch immediately. Just in case they didn't get the um. The main. Okay, okay. There we go. Uh. Wait. Did that work? Hopefully. Uh, let me see. Did they? Oh yeah. Maybe the too late. Oh, okay, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's okay. So we have a spoiler yeah, yeah. is that Nirvana had won, but that match didn't count, so... I mean, I guess it didn't, unless uh, Matthias wants to go fast. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have Kyoshiro versus Charlotte. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure if at this point we can say that uh, Kyoshiro is um, is uh, Nirvan Ayer's main. I mean, I, yeah. I still think I still think he would play me now if it was like a very uh, like let's say the bracket re get reset and uh, Ultimate Player wins 2-0. I'm not sure Nirvan Ayer will stick to Kyoshiro. Yeah, okay. Nirvan Ayer is fine saying that's fine. Didn't count. That's more Samshu for you guys. <laughs> Always better to have more Samshu. Especially with functioning lobbies. Yeah, t tell me about it. Alright, so uh, yeah, it's O and O. And it's time for the grand final. Grand finals of this month. Battle for Yabana the grand. L and Ultimate yep. Fleo. Yeah, both so sponsored by the French Discord, especially the Match switch channel, <laughs> <laughs> and both uh, former winners of uh, Battle for the Den as well. Yep, with Ult champions. Ultimate Flare winning twice and Nirvana winning I don't know how many times. So, but Ultimate Flare is the last one who won. So yeah, yeah, he he's, he's, he's on a he's on the two wins win streak right now. All right, let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, yeah. That's also something I was talking to Ultimate Player about. Uh, I'll full screen if you do bayonet lunge. There's not much uh, Kyoshiro can do about that. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was hard read. <laughs> Bad timing to jump. I right, get him in the corner, trying to go for the cross up. I mean, you you can harass him with like low kicks and. Yeah, so yeah. Nothing much you can do. Okay. Oh, okay. Empty jump. Empty jump through. Oh, that's... oh, so you can 5C. Oh, right. Yeah. Maybe you have to be very tight on the timing. Oh, yeah. The stop motion bird in the back. Yeah. <laughs> the three frame of animation birds in. Uh... In Nico. <laughs> in Nico on the Switch. Yeah. I, you know, it's the Switch, right? It's already running the game. All right, ish. Yep. I mean, very, very nicely. Ooh, okay. And with functioning lobby. Too, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take shitty birds and function in lobbies over the off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I will never stop to say it. Kick. Okay. Very aggressive uh, match. I mean, even for even Kyoshiro is like rushing in. Yeah, which is not. I mean, it can't really do anything full screen, so. Yeah, okay, using the running attack options. <sighs> oh, that's going to be. Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh, okay. I think that was Miss DP, maybe. Yeah, probably. It still did a good amount of damage, though. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the chip king. We yeah, can yeah. Say that. Oh, okay. There we go. I, it's frog I don't know time. How you, how you write chip, but uh, yeah. <laughs> chip. <laughs> both in both ways. Chip champion. Oh, okay. Still, the, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's good damage of the throw. Back throw is very good. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. So now he can he can get at the range where it's going to be hard for. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, Kyoshi Rogan Finals, and it is not the first time, I believe, that uh, Nirvana got to Grand Finals and played Kyoshiro. Mm, I'm not sure he played him in the last tournament. Uh, maybe not the last one, but I think they were definitely... He's been playing uh, Kyoshiro for a few editions now. Yeah, but, like, does he won with Ukyo or something? Uh, sorry, what? Does he... when he won the tournament? Uh, he won with Mina, essentially. Mina, yeah. But I think for some editions where he, where he was in the same situation where the opponent had to reset the bracket, uh, he was already playing Kyoshiro on the U. Okay. Okay, went for the safe uh, safe punish with the grab. Ooh, okay, yeah, I think he okay. tried to... He, he probably th yeah, yeah, he probably thought he could do his combo, but he messed up and... Oh, yeah, that's... And, oh, missed DP, I guess, again. Oh, WFT? No, I think it was WFT. Yeah, probably WFT, yeah. Yeah, once oh, again, yeah. Uh, he ran, ran out of rage just before. Can you do like a move before Kyoshiro's WFT? Like a 2M or something? Um, I'm not sure, I don't think so. Yeah. But I'm not an expert. I'm really bad at uh, combo. <laughs> Even in the <laughs> show. <laughs> it's oh, okay, oh, there we go. Range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your team got froze there. Yeah, it's kind of funny, right? Because it is a command grab. I mean, it's not really a command grab. It's more like an unblockable. But the character will still get stuck in block stun if you if you sleep too much on the back. Ooh, okay. Oh, nice. That's not entirely optimal, but that's already that's some good damage, I would say. Yeah, <laughs> after life bar is good damage. Yeah, it's oh, decent. Nice kick here to to deny that... the frog. Oh yeah, okay. Should have tried a bit harder to deny the weapon pickup, I guess. Because yeah, like, now he has comfortable punishes. Yeah. Thank you. Very good life lead. Okay, a few pucks away from. Uh, oh, I'm not, I don't agree with this. Yeah, first. neither do I. Yeah. Yeah. But like, you can just kick him to death, you know? La Savate. <laughs> La Savate. Charlotte is doing uh, French so boxing. Well, I mean, now it's kind of looking bad for our team player though. It still has okay, fight. never mind. Oh yeah. man, this move just is easy. just knee him in the face. So that that's no, that's looking much better for a team player. Also yeah, like has, has full, and he has full rage. rage. Yeah, full rage. Just has to be not. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's way too obvious. Okay, but this time though, gets it. That's going to be no missed it. Oh, he missed. Uh, is that something I, like? You have to do it fast. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. You don't have to micro walk. I think we've established that. Okay, doesn't have it anymore. Oh, that's, yeah, that's the mix-up. Like, very good idea, but well, not, not enough. So range. it's getting bullied a bit, la, and that's because yeah, because of the execution errors. Yes. Okay, yeah, I agree with that. Oh, Oof. yeah. Don't be too obvious with the grab, man. Oof. Ah, that could have been so much more. You could have been sent. Yeah, you could have been sent. Yeah. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. I think he would have killed. Oh, he's not dead. Uh, it was pretty low on life, wasn't he? So. But anyway, uh, Nirvana L takes it. Ultimate Flayo just panicking a bit there. Yeah, that's, that's too bad because like he was very solid. Yeah, yeah, and also that was like a very you know uh, bad burst from Nirvana L in round two. Yep. So that was definitely Ultimate Flayo's match to win. But yeah, I did a few a bit too many uh, execution mistakes there. So what's going on? Nirvana L has to rematch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. First to three again. First to three, and there is a reset bracket if. Ultimate Flayo manages to win all three. I also saw in the chat uh, Azuki saying that Charlotte hit Frog Leg. Have you I mean, tried Frog? No, I no, I haven't. Uh, I've tried. I have my fair share of snails. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and you were there, even though like uh, in the restaurant oh, in yeah, the corner. Uh, <laughs> we did like the most French things possible. Uh, I don't <laughs> think I ever gotten Frog Legs. Yeah, me, me neither. It's not that easy to find, to be honest. Like, yeah, like you have to go in specific restaurants. Yeah, and uh, do you think they do like <laughs> take away frog legs now? <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably. I mean, like snakes, you can find them like frozen. Oh, yeah, yeah, any, that's true, yeah. In uh, any frozen uh, supermarket in French, you can go to to the like uh, 
fancy yeah. uh, fancy food and you will find snails. Yeah, yeah, like but frog leg. I guess he has to be prepared in a certain way. Yeah, it's All right, much so that... more, you didn't play more take specific. The... Yeah. Um, you didn't know really has to jump more whenever he hears the, f the frog there. I mean, that's something that we get in eventually, but uh, obviously, you know, frog is quite punishable. If it... Ooh, no, that's not going to work, yeah. No invul. Yeah. So this is not... A, like yeah. The, the <laughs> you got hit by the, the big toe. The big toe, yeah. That's Ooh, not a Capcom game. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah, I messed up the input. 5C. Yep. Oh, when... Oh. I think it went back a little bit too far. Yep. I mean, you, you have to because, like, Charlotte WFT has quite the range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you can you are really scared of like getting hit by the, the tip of the star. Oh, that was interesting. Didn't autocorrect on the. Uh... Not okay. the combo. I mean, here you can just throw the WFT. Oh, that would have been yeah. Oh, it, okay, that's will kill. yeah, that's dead. Like, but even if it blocked, it will be dead. Yeah, yeah, by chip. So much chip damage. It's okay, a very even match. Charlotte has the yeah. reach. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he hasn't been able to get his combo in a while, the uh, jump C and uh, BD piece. Yeah. Like, it's really not easy Oof. to... Because yeah, like, yeah, yeah, even yeah. Like, if you miss, you're gonna get punished, or even sometimes you get the right... Yeah, 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 you have to be really... You have to be able to judge by the uh, the way jump C. Oh, oh. this could have been the UFT. That's too bad. Like his uh, uh, team flow is a bit missing on the punish game on this last. Yeah, day. true. He's not entirely That's confident. Uh, ooh, oh, that could have, that could have been like. Yeah, very big damage. I wonder if we can't even ease enough of that. All right, so now. Oh yeah, maybe. That oh <laughs> oh boy, that was like five essence. <laughs> <laughs> but like you, you don't know if he will send, so. Oh, please don't jump, okay. Well, that, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I mean, oh, okay, yeah. WFT, oh, and the frog. Because he wanted to end it with the frog. Head to the frog, baby. I know it's probably a good call. Uh, Ultimate hasn't been really dealing very well with the frog so far. It's been kind of a problem for him. Yeah, like, I mean, it's obvious, like, as commentator, we said, yeah, you have to jump. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, in a real match, obviously, it's not like that. But at some point, you, know, you really need to get to develop that... Uh, that reflex of you hear Akama and you immediately jump. <laughs> yeah. Because that's, that's trouble. Right. I mean, he was, he was caught during his animation there. Yeah, so. during the... Ooh. Because it's, it's also kind of a good with punish. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, the range, range. the range is quite decent. Well, very risky with punish, but... And also because the Kyoshiro got slightly high, so he can go over some moves. Yep. Even though, like, the startup is... Ooh, that's... Yeah, isn't that oh, a perfect? Yeah, that's a that was WFT. first perfect of the... But I think he would have got it before... Yeah, 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 yeah. it's not invincible. It's, it's, it's not a Capcom game. That's, ma that's match point for Nirvana L. And that's match point, yeah, so... It's not over yet, but it's looking pretty good for the... For the champ. Not the ringy one, but the other one. Oh. Ooh. Get down here. Oh man, just oh, the tip. Come on. Oh, that's oh, no, decent. Yeah, I mean. No. Okay, that's. Yeah, I have to burst that. I, I mean, you know, there's also something we haven't seen uh, them use, and especially with Team Fleo, it's like the, def the deflect. Yeah, that's true. We haven't seen a lot of deflect in this match. Like, and he did some against. Uh, I don't remember who. Okay, but he I said this. Ah, he could have been it. Oh yeah, the Isen. I think he forgot. He just oh, forgot. Wow, what an interaction <laughs> oh, there! Someone clip that, please. Oh, and the frog saving Kyoshiro. He sent to the frog. Man, man, man's best friend is not the dog anymore. It's the frog. <laughs> that was a crazy interaction. That was yeah. I, I didn't think he would go that high. Uh, to the point he would yeah, be able to avoid the the Isen. Isen yeah, yeah, it was probably like on the highest point of the. Of the yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's only a thing that can happen during the startup. And I mean, man, that's that was unusual. Well, congratulations to Niven IL for winning in such a stylish way. <laughs> yeah, like we have a winner for Battle for the Den. So we have the winner for Battle for the Den, which is Niven IL taking back his crown from uh, Ultimate Flail's head. But props to Ultimate Flail for going this far, even though you know should have been like. In another dimension, uh, El Vivo's wife let him play a bit longer. <laughs> and that was different grand finals, but uh, very good performance yeah, like, still from Nirvana. Like, from the 
friendly tournament, everyone is here to have fun, so as long as we can have good match, we are yeah, happy uh, commentators. There's no cash prize or anything like that, it's just for showcasing the community a bit, which is always a pleasure. And yeah, so we're, yeah we're, we're very good it's stuff. It's a Kyoshiro winning, like, this, this is not something that happens often. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't see a lot of Kyoshiro winning tournaments in general, so it's always nice to see. Even just seeing Kyoshiro at all uh, is always a pleasure. Yeah, like, sh sh shoot out to, to su uh, Sugar Bear. Yeah, Sugar so, Bear, which has been holding the Kyoshiro since, like, day one. Like, very, very strong. Like, if you want, like, Kyoshiro tech and tips, go yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely the man to check out. And so, yeah, so big congratulations to Nevanael for his win in this battle for the Den. Of course, Ultimate Fleo did a very good run, like, staying in winner until we win a final. Yeah, yeah, definitely doing it did all right. Uh, congratulations to El Vivo and pretty much to everyone else involved. It was always a pleasure watching you guys play. Yeah, very good match to see, to commentate. A variety of matchup, even if we saw a lot of Charlotte, like we saw Dali. Yeah, yeah, we, we saw, saw a bunch Rakoguru, of Kaku. Kyoshiro, Wanfu, we've got the Wanfu. We got, we got quite a lot of Wanfu. So, yeah, that's, that's very, very nice to see. Like, very cool tournament as usual. A big thanks to Matthias. For yeah, for organizing this, and it's not uh, it's not over yet for him because he has to, in what two hours from now? Yeah, two hours from now, uh, you will have the North American version of this tournament. So it's still Samurai Showdown. It's still on the Switch. It's just on the other side of the Atlantic. He's a madman. Like he's organizing like tournaments on different games every week. So especially if you have a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, yeah, sure to, to, to come to to check his channel, to check his Twitter, to come to his Discord because there will be a lot of events. Yeah, yeah, there's a ton of stuff getting organized. You know, it's really nice for the Switch players to have a competitive scene. Speaking Things of which, like, <laughs> of course, the from pack to pack arms battle, team battle, which will be on the 20th of March, featuring some of the best uh, players from Europe, for for uh, for America, the world continent, and maybe even for uh, from from Asia. I don't know if, if the team are totally settled yet. But you will have some good arms action with rollback net code. With rollback net code. <laughs> wow. So yeah, definitely something to check out on the 20th of March. So that's like, uh, yeah, slightly more than two weeks from now. No, actually just, yeah, actually in two weeks. So that was good stuff. Uh, thanks everyone. Congratulations to Nebenal once again. Uh, we, are, we, are, we had a lot of good matches tonight and uh, looking forward to the... So America, North America version coming up really soon. Later on. So, yeah. So of course, remember that this is a monthly. So if you have a switch play, if you are a switch player and you want to to participate into Samurai Showdown tournament, be sure to to follow like Matthias Wolfbrock or, or, or Wolf TV on Twitter, on Twitch. Uh, yeah. Join the Discord. Join you the can Discord. Join the International Samurai Showdown Discord. You can join the French Samurai Showdown Discord. You will find people to play with you on the yeah, yeah. Twitch. Yeah, even if you're not French, uh, all players from Europe are welcome there. Since yes. we have like very active player base on the Switch. And on, and on PS4. And on PS4 as well. So yeah, so, uh, a yeah. lot of fun. Uh, was very yeah. cool. Yep, yeah, yeah, it was a pleasure as always being with you, being with Matthias working behind the scenes. Thank you for thank you for commentating with me. Yeah, uh, thank you for inviting me, Matthias. And thank you for hosting this Chaco on your, on your oh, Switch. Yeah. It was a very, very nice tournament. Always a pleasure. And yeah, so I guess we're going to leave Matthias a rest for a small two hours and then uh, has his other tournaments to go on. So what, yeah, once again, thank you everyone. Thanks for everyone who joined. Thanks for everyone who watched. Congratulations w to all the players and see you next time. And we'll see you next time with Season 3. Yes, coming soon. See ya everyone and goodbye.